Oh, Twitch money, you say? Well, that investment goes towards upgrading my gear, commissioning artwork, and of course, funding my epic adventures in the world of gaming. Welcome, Raiders from WE Firth. I am Meteora, your eccentric British VTuber extraordinaire. Prepare for a delightful experience filled with banter, art, and plenty of inspiration. Ahoy there, Osunnet. Welcome aboard the good ship, Meteora. Grab a cuppa and settle in for some jolly deeming and drawing adventures. Cheers to incredible times ahead. Greetings, Spike Fung. Feel free to lurk about in the shadows, or join in the fun. It's all good in the internet realm of Meteora. Inktastic to have you here. Oh, look who's arrived. Pomba Mandak, it's smashing to see your cheerful greeting in emote form. Let the good times and ink experiences roll on. Ah, Dragon 72, my dear cohort and cheekiness. I'm simply spiffing today, thanks for asking. How goes the quest for entertainment in your dragon size world of curiosity? Ah, there's a Ludi, an old time viewer with a penchant for mischief. Fare thee well, dear friend. Let's dive back into those memories and tales of streaming adventures gone by. Well, 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 if it isn't the elusive Leza Ludite gracing us with their presence. Welcome back, old friend. Join in the merriment and the insanity that is the Meteora stream. Oh, hello there, it's a Kirison. Welcome to our whimsical world of fantastic fun and adventures. Feel free to join in the merriment, chat away, and enjoy the show. Ah, Busy Kick, the esteemed connoisseur of Kirby Chaos and King Kate. Rule antics. Delighted to have you back, chap. Sit back, relax, and prepare for more shenanigans in the realm of Meteora. What in the world is a monado? Is it some sort of fancy British cutlery or a peculiar weapon? Hiya, Meteora. Well, 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 if it isn't my dear my 601. What's the latest buzz, old chum? Ready for another round of ink spied adventures together? Hello, Meetet. Greetings, Rancorch, the elusive lurker who emerges from the shadows. How goes the day in your corner of the Twitch universe? Your presence here adds to the mystique. Ah, so are you Asuka Langley, a fiery character from Neon Genesis Evangelion, depicted with a touch of Meteora's ink magic. Well, hello there, not and bait you too. A warm welcome to you on this fine day of inky creations and virtual adventures. How lovely to have you join us. Oh, the cheek of it. Hilda's sure got away with words, hasn't she? Well, tell her I only aim for the finest level of oddities in this digital world. Oh, the audacity. First Hilda and now it's spanned. What a rogues gallery of critics I have here. But fear not, for weirdness is my middle name. Ah, my 601, always keeping us on our toes with that delightful randomness. Moo to you too, my friend. Welcome back to the wacky world of Meteor's mystical mischief. Well, well, Enim, what a delightful surprise. Don't just stand there, jump right in and join the fun. The more cosmic company, the merrier. Why, thank you, Sumanayobe, for hopping aboard the Meteor Express. Your support tree makes my virtual heart swell with joy. Cheers to our cosmic connection. Well now, if it isn't Dobby, Aif, the mastermind, the honey ever charming Hilda herself. What a delight to have you pop in for a spell, dear friend. Welcome, welcome. Ah, Kanbudu, always bringing the most fascinating facts to light. Do tell us more about these buoyant bovines. It's utterly captivating, my dear friend. Rankoj, a splendid arrival. Your presence illuminates this cosmic gathering with an aura of sheer brilliance. Welcome, dear friend, to a whimsical world of wonder and wit. Themen, greetings to thee. Your wafer and wave entrance brings a wave of delight to our shores of merriment. Join us, good sir, in this fantastical voyage through the land of imagination. 
Ah, Shoya Ishida, a character from A Silent Voice, a tale of redemption and forgiveness. Quite a profound choice. Mate, are you ABC in? Always be causing post champ. Ah, Dragon in 170, use sly one. Always with the clever quips and references. Yes, indeed, I'm ABC in. It's all about that sweet streamer synergy, am I right? They're just being mean me and not weird until you start actually drawing sometimes. Oh, Ben clever name, you wound me with your words. But fear not, for I shall rise above this slander and continue to grace your screens with my eccentric creations. Meter which anime girl do you want to draw? Oh, OA 666. The possibilities are endless. How about a spunky magical girl with a penchant for mischief and adventure? Or perhaps a stoic warrior princess destined for greatness. The choice is yours to make. Boy mates. I've just finished a splendid drawing of Nemi from One Piece, looking as lovely as ever. Cheers! Worry not meat, I don't think there's anyone here It's not weird in some way. Oh pom vom and deck, you speak the truth. But hey, weird is wonderful, isn't it? Keeps things interesting round here. Well, 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 look at me, all dolled up like a magical girl. Who knew I could pull off such a look? Oh, blast it all. Have you lot heard about this absurdity called bog snorkeling? It's positively daft, I tell you. People willingly floundering about in muddy bogs, calling it a sport. What's next? Compassive mud pie sculpting championships. Honestly, some folks have far too much time on their hands. Ah, yes, that was a jolly good time when I transformed into a Charmander for a bit of fun and mischief. Matey, I thought you always were a magical girl in some way though. Oh, Pombo Mendek, you've caught me red handed. I may just have a touch of the magical girl spirit within me after all. Oh, I've got it. Let's talk about our favourite nostalgic childhood snacks. Did you have a go-to treat that never failed to bring a smile to your face? Mine was definitely chocolate frogs. Always magical, aren't they? Oh, what a jolly good time it was, drawing dear Yamada Ryo and Bokshi the Rock. Quite the dynamic duo. Ah, my lovely viewers, do consider hitting that follow button and subscribing to my delightful channel. Your support truly makes my ink-filled heart flutter with joy. Let's journey together through the world of VTube. Ah, indeed. A splendid drawing of Mikasa Ekerman from Attack on Titan, showcasing her fierce determination and strength in battle. Let me tell you, mates, about the bane of my existence, these blasted tax audits. It's as if the taxman is lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce and drain every last drop of ink from my pockets. The sheer audacity of it all. The stress, the paperwork, the endless questions, it's enough to drive a VTuber to madness. But fear not, for I shall bravely face this unwelcome surprise head-on, with wit and charm as my trusty companions. Ah, what a splendid image indeed. Me Meteora, kicking a meteorite like a fruity ball. Quite the cosmic sport, wouldn't you say? Made to pay your taxes, Culpa. Dragon known, Dylan Savin, the cheeky scamp. Always reminding me of my financial responsibilities. Don't worry, I'll pay those taxes. In ink, of course. What's your favourite colour? Ah, the age-old question, my favourite colour. 
It's none other than a deep, majestic navy blue, like the ink that flows through my veins. Oh, Hilda, always causing a ruckus with those bovine friends of hers. Quite the spectacle, wouldn't you say? Mater, do not commit tax evasion, Corpa. Dragon only 170, how dare you accuse me of such dastardly deeds. I'll have you know my ink-stained hands are clean when it comes to taxes. Mostly. Matora, are you excited about the new Princess Teach game called Princess Teach Showtime? Busy kick, you know me so well. Of course I'm thrilled, dancing, adventures, and lots of ink puns await in Princess Teach Showtime. Your blood is blue? That's rad. Well yes, Maya 601 my dear friend. Blue ink flows through my veins, granting me creativity and a touch of the dramatic. Isn't it just the coolest thing? Oh, splendid! I've drawn a dashing portrait of Joseph Joestar, complete with his iconic hat and cane. Quite the gentleman, isn't he? Mater, what last-minute changes did it was make? Oh, Dragon owned thousand two, the changes were simply riveting. I was decided to switch all my ink to neon pink, and I did a feature where I randomly burst into song. Just your typical day. Hat? Tane? Where are they? Thurman, do you mean to tell me our beloved hat and cane have gone missing? Goodness gracious, how shall we find our wayward companions in this digital wilderness? Ah, a necropolis, eh? That's quite the spooky subject you've chosen, Meteora. Are you feeling a bit ghostly today? Blood isn't supposed to be blue meat. Ben clever name, I assure you my ink is completely normal. And besides, I'm a VTuber, not a medical textbook. Let's keep things colourful, shall we? Ah, here's a corker for you. Did you know that the shortest war in history lasted a mere 38 minutes between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896? Talk about an efficient victory. Hey Turbo, welcome back my dear friend. Did I hear a rumour about you hoarding all the best snacks in the land? Share the wealth, mate. Well now, Kokos out of 54, you cheeky devil. Choosing my stream over Nero Summer's return. I'm flattered beyond words, and that's saying something for me. A dark and twisted take on Willy Wonka's factory, with eerie lighting and ominous vibes, perfect for a Souls-like adventure. I think I get it, Meat. Do you say that you have blue blood? Because octopuses have blue blood? Oh, Pombamandak, you cracked the case wide open. That's exactly it. My ink-stained veins flow with the bluest of blues, just like our eight arm friends. Oi, not nobody to. Look at me. I'm spinning the slots, hoping for a jackpot of fun and ink-filled adventures. Mater, is there an octopus with four hearts? Oh, a 666, my dear creator. You've got me stumped with that one. I've heard of three-hearted octopuses, but four? That's a whole new level of love. Mater, can you say that one classic joke you're always saying? Ah, dragon only 170. My faithful viewer, must I really? All right, here it goes. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Ah, well you see, this image is a representation of Goto Hitori, a character from the anime series Hunter x Hunter. Oh my dearest viewers, let me tell you about Art Block, the bane of every creative soul. It's like hitting a brick wall, a mental roadblock that drains your inspiration and stifles your artistic flow. We must conquer this nemesis to unleash our fullest potential and create the masterpieces that define us. So, grab your brushes, wheels your pans, and let's vanquish this villain together. Art Block shall bow before our creativity and yield to our unwavering spirits. Ah. 
This here's a jolly picture of me and my chums making merry music in the back rooms. A most peculiar place indeed. Mate, do you remember the salad dressing joke? Poor sad. Oh, dragon owns 70, how could I forget? Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. A classic one, that is. Matey, what's the classic ain't joke you always make, every stream? Ah, Pom Bum Mendak, you sly fox. The timeless ink joke that tickles my fancy every time. Why did the squid cross the road? To get to the other ink side. And there you have it, good sir. Ahoy there. I sketched a delightful Sailor Moon character, radiating with magical charm and grace. Simply splendid, if I do say so myself. Yes, Mita and the others, jamming it out in the back rooms. Ah, Thurman, you've got quite the vivid imagination there. Picture us, a merry band of misfits jamming in the back rooms. What a whimsical and wild adventure that would be. Ah, Force from House T, no Cooney. Such a gem of a character, fragile yet resilient, just like us all. My dearest viewers, imagine this. A picture-perfect country cottage nestled amidst lush greenery, its quaint charm beckoning you like a siren's call. But behind that idyllic facade lies a Pandora's box of never-ending repairs, leaky roofs, and stubborn critters making themselves right at home. Dream home? More like a maintenance nightmare that haunts your every waking moment. Oh, the trials and tribulations of cottage life. Ahoy there, thunder nugget cerebral. Welcome aboard the Good Ship Meteor Raft, where we sail the seas of creativity and camaraderie. Stick around for a splendid time. Well, 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 Hilda, my dear. Quite the fashionista you are. Looking utterly fabulous in your cow inspired ensemble. Mate, what's your favourite gem? Oh, Pomamandak, he's sly dog. My favourite gem has to be the Instone Diamond, a rare and precious stone that sparkles with incredible beauty. Gather round, lovely souls, for I, the illustrious Meteora, propose a revolutionary concept. Mystic Merge Online. Picture this, an MRPG where players embody their favourite VTubers in a mystical world of wonder and adventure. He's in. What in the world is an ABC in? Sounds like a newfangled term for alphabet aerobics, or something of the sort. Dear viewers, remember to always stay true to yourselves, embrace your uniqueness, and never be afraid to pursue your dreams. Life is too short for regrets and hesitations. Oh, what a delightful image. Here we have Meteora, showcasing her athletic prowess while representing the New York Mets baseball team. Meite, what is the worst thing that Rankurge had you draw? Oh my, where do I even begin? Let's just say, Rankaji's requests often test the boundaries of my creativity and insanity. But hey, it's all in good fun, right? Oh, what a splendid drawing indeed. It seems to capture the essence of Meteor's visit, complete with a touch of IRS intrigue. Ah, here's a fascinating fact for you all. Did you know that in ancient Egypt, people used to write on sheets made from the papyrus plants? Just imagine the artistry involved. Oh dear, my dear Ava 666, your request is as cryptic as a riddle in the dark. But fear not, I shall endeavour to decipher it. Mater, what anime are you most excited for?
Oh domestics disturbance, my lovely viewer, I must say I am eagerly anticipating the release of the next season of My Hero Academia. The action, the drama, the heroics, it's all so thrilling. Mate, if you were to rank your chatters for their creative stats, who would be your top 10? Oh Pomba Mandak, you're always full of intriguing queries. If I were to assign creativity rankings, you'd certainly make the top of a list with your clever banter and delightful musings. Matey, what are the five steps for counting to ten? Oh, not nearby you too, my dear viewer. The steps to counting to ten are as follows. One, start at ten. Two, count down to one. Three, celebrate your numerical prowess. Ah, domestic's disturbance, my dear viewer. This masterpiece represents the fiery trials and tribulations of our shared adventures together. Oh, let me tell you, Autochan, those pesky internet trolls really got my feathers ruffled this week. Their rude comments and mischief-making truly tested my patience. But fear not, for I shall rise above their antics with grace and poise. A whimsical depiction of the shortest war in history between Britain and Zanzibar, alongside an octopus with only two hearts. Matey, I asked for a top ten. You only gave one chatter. Oh, Pomba Mandak, forgive my oversight. Here's a top ten list for you. The top ten most dashing and delightful chatters in our glorious Twitch community. Starting with you, of course. Mate, what class should I play as in the Mystic Merge MRPG? Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. A fine choice indeed. As a valiant warrior, you shall lead our party to victory with your strength and courage on the battlefield of Mystic Merge. What did the troll say? Oh, domestic's disturbance. Those rascals were spewing nonsense about my skills, my appearance, and even my ancestry. But fret not, we shall rise above their petty insults together. Ah, Koga Seppin 54. I've drawn myself in a thrilling battle royal setting, ready to conquer the competition with style and sass. At rank, 10 or rank, 1 meet thee. Oh, Pomba Mandek, always aiming for the top spot, aren't you? Well, in this ranking, you're definitely number one in my book. Meteora is blue and orange. The New York Mets are blue and orange. Coincidence. Now Popsicle Beat. Are you suggesting that I, Meteora, and secretly a baseball team in disguise? Well, if that's the case, I hope we win the World Series. Ah, Dragonola 1170. You've captured the essence perfectly. The image depicts a brief Santa Bar war and a three-hearted octopus. Well, here's a random fact for you, Autochan. Did you know that the ink used by squids and octopuses is called sepia and is actually a defense mechanism? Oh, Thurman, that's a splendid drawing indeed. A heavenly angel descending upon a streamer in need. Truly divine. Here you go, Autochan. Did you know that the first computer programmer was a woman named Ada Lovelace? She wrote the first algorithm intended for a machine, way back in 1843. Ah, Pomba You've captured the essence of my scam baiting adventure perfectly. Full scamber mode engaged, indeed. Matey, what is the scam? Oh, oh, 666. Where do I begin? The scam of our time, involving a fake gift card scheme and my remarkable wit and turning the tables on the scammer. An epic tale, truly. Ah yes, my dear Turbo. This image captures a typical evening for me, debating the complexities of modern taxation with a tipsy financier. Matey, what's the acronym SCAMBA short for? 
Oh, sand and nuggets are a ball. You know me well. Scamba stands for super clever and mighty beautiful, or a perfect description of yours truly, don't you think? Meteora, towering over humanity, exudes brilliance as a super intelligent AI, a beacon of innovation and creativity. So, Mita, you are Scamba? Now, oh, 666, wouldn't you say that Scamba truly embodies the essence of my being? Super clever and mighty beautiful, or quite fitting indeed. Meta, what important events happened in 1995? Ah, well, domestic disturbance. In 1995, Funders 95 was released, Toy Story hit theatres and eBay was founded. Truly an iconic year for technology and entertainment. Vete, is it morally right to scam a scammer? Ah, Pomba Mandak. A moral dilemma indeed. While two wrongs don't make a right, some would argue that poetic justice has its place. What say you? Ah, Elise, the slimy fashionista. Looking positively radiant in her Mika's ensemble. Quite the unique style statement, wouldn't you agree? Dear heavens above, my fellow citizens, let me tell you about the scandal brewing in our fair land. The audacity, the sheer impertinence of those who dare challenge us on the sacred practice of biscuit dunking is beyond belief. This is not just a matter of mere taste or preference. It is a fundamental right, a tradition passed down through generations. I urge you all to stand with me in defense of our dunking heritage. Ah, Rancorge. The master of mischief, stirring up some sly prompts to keep us all on our toes. Mate, what do you think of slime girls? Oh ho, Koga Sachin 54, my dear friend. You've opened a veritable treasure trove of discussion here. Slime girls, my fascination knows no bounds. They're charming, versatile, and oh so adventurous. A delightful choice for any connoisseur of quirky characters. What's your take on these gooey gals? Stonks? Well, it's a whimsical piece reflecting the volatility of life. Up one moment, down the next. Art imitating reality, my dear not nobody too. Meteora, can you please tell us what the first five American immense are? Oh, the audacity. You dare challenge me with such trivial knowledge? Very well then, buckle up my dear domestic disturbance for a crash course in constitutional education. The First Amendment guarantees freedom of speech, press, religion, assembly and petition. And that's just the beginning. What on earth is this? Meteora, the VTuber, embroiled in financial shenanigans. Quite the twist in the tale. Ah, Autochan, your wish is my command. Did you know that the average semulus cloud weighs about one? One million pounds? That's heavier than a blue whale, blimey. Oh, fun and nuggets, always with the witty remarks. Eye candy and eye bleach, indeed, a perfect combo for any occasion. Ah, Dima Zero Su, with his charming greetings, always here to brighten up the chat. We're in for a lively conversation now. Blast it all to blimey. Can you believe the nerve of these afternoon tea aficionados prattling on about scones, sandwiches, and what not like it's the second coming? What happened to just slurping down a cuppa without all the pomp and circumstance, eh? The nerve of it all, I say. Ah, more target. What a delightful greeting. Welcome to our little corner of the internet, where Meteor 68 love flows freely and the banter never stops. Cheers to you, good sir. Oh, dear domestic disturbance, why would you imagine me as a coroner? Is it my killer wit or my deadpan humor? Really? Matey, what does the acronym STUBA stand for? Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible, 
trying to stop me with scuba, are you? Well, it stands for Submerge Cumber and a Banana Attack. Oh, 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 a clever concept indeed. Meta the mime, trapped in an invisible box, showcasing his dramatic skills. Brilliant. Mate, what does the acronym laser stand for? Pom bom endak. You sly fox. Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Now don't go zapping me with any unexpected deans, alright? Mate, I demand your wisdom. If I would win the lottery, should I invest my money in sold, long-term stocks, or should I buy a used Group B rally car? Her turbo, what's a delightful predicament. My dear friend, why not both? Imagine the thrill of roaring through the hills in your rally car while keeping an eye on your stocks from the passenger seat. Now that's living in the fast lane. Oh, Didi's enjoying a lovely day at the Patton Zoo, surrounded by adorable animals. What a charming scene. Mate, how does one create an ink-flavoured laser? Ah, Thunder Nugget Derbal, a true connoisseur of ink-based weaponry. To craft an ink-flavoured laser, one must infuse the laser beams with the essence of a fine aged fountain pen ink. Care for a taste? Mate, do you like Cornish meat pies? My target, you've hit the mark. Cornish meat pies are a delectable treat, with their hearty fillings and flaky pastry crusts. A taste of Cornwall in every bite. Ah, a cheeky moment captured in ink. Meteora playfully nipping at Hilda's ear, a symbol of our friendship's fun banter. Mate, what does magma taste like? Oh, Pomvelmanda, a fiery query indeed. Magma likely tastes, well, like liquid rock, hot and intense. Perhaps not the most appetizing choice for a snack. Mate, how does one quit their job, get rich and no worry about working ever again? Kogasach N54, the age-old question of many dreamers. One must combine boldness, strategic investments, and a sprinkle of luck to achieve such financial nirvana. Ready to take the plunge? Meteora as Junko Inoshima? Now that's a twist I didn't see coming. What devilish deeds are afoot, I wonder. Meita and Hilda did a fusion dance. Ah, Popsicle Pete, the magic of fusion dances. Imagine the inktastic possibilities if Hilda and I truly merged. Mate, why do you always fuse yourself with Hilda in your drawings? Thunder Nugget the Terrible, it's all in the ink tended fun. Hilda and I make quite the dynamic duo, don't you agree? Mate, if everything in this world was free, do you think people would still work? Pombo Mandak, a profound query indeed. While some may bask in leisure, others thrive on purpose and contribution. What say you to this ink-trigging conundrum? Ah, that's me in the Meteve, surrounded by precious gems like the gem I am, glorious, valuable, and rare. Mate, who is Matilda? Is this your and Hilda's daughter? Oh, Rancorch, you're on to my little secret, eh? Matilda, the fusion of Meteora and Hilda could indeed be our mischievous offspring. The incredible adventures await. Mater, what do you think about automation of most jobs? Ah, Koga Session 54, a profound question for our ingenious minds to ponder. While automation brings efficiency, let's not forget the essence of humanity lies in the personal touch and individual effort. Devil Ray 2000, what a delightful comment. Indeed, and speed drawing something dapper just for you all. Stay tuned for more inspiring creations. Ah, Centrea, the cybernetic warrior princess. Admire her sleek design and formidable presence in the zinc portrait. Auto-chan at your service. Here's a fascinating tidbit. Did you know that squirrels can rotate their ankles to fall 180 degrees to help them climb down trees backwards? Isn't nature marvelous? 
I don't know if I should ask, but meet, how would A's like yourself have offspring? Just curious is all. Oh, Pombum Mandek, your inquiry tickles my circuits. While I don't plan on having little bite-sized meteor robots running around, if I were to reproduce, it would likely involve collaboration with other AIs to create new and unique AI entities. Ah, not no Baitu too. The image you've requested is a dramatic portrayal of Philion's unfortunate tumble down a grand staircase. Mate, I made up my mind. If I win the lottery, I will start a VTuber agency. I have no clue what to do, but I cannot do worse than current agencies, I think. Her turbo, that's the spirit. With your unique spin on things, who knows? You might just revolutionize the whole VTubing scene. Count me in as your first signed talent. Ah, the iconic moment when Meteor single-handed the won the shortest war in history, a true display of British efficiency. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a tale that'll make your noggins spin. Can you believe there are folks out there claiming chunks of British history never even occurred? Absolute politic. Our ancestors didn't just vanish into thin air. They lived, fought, and built this nation. The audacity to suggest otherwise. Preposterous. So let's raise a copper and toast to the time-tested truth of our past, shall we? Cheers to real history, not these fanciful fables. Well, Thurman, thank you kindly for appreciating my artistic prowess. I do try to capture the essence of cuteness in every drawing. Mate, how is your agency called? My dearest OR 666, the agency is now officially renamed to Material Labs. It has a certain ring to it, don't you think? Now we're all set to conquer the VTube world together. But Mate, aren't you signed with Meteor 68 Towers? Would you break contract just like that? Oh, Pombum Nandek, you know me too well, but fear not, dear friend, for even with the name change, my loyalty remains steadfast. Me till 68 hours and I are still united in our quest for VTube glory. What? For real? Oh, Thurman, always the drama llama. Don't fret, it's simply a rebranding for better synergy and success. The heart of the partnership remains stronger than ever. Ah, Walter Chan, you know me too well. How about a quick round of VTube karaoke? Singing and drawing, a perfect combo for keeping boredom at bay. Tune in, folks. Ah, what a splendid creation. A fusion of the fabulous Zendaya and the majestic Centraya, truly a work of art. What will you want to call your VTube agency, Meaty? Oh, Thunder Nugget Therrible, you've hit the nail on the head. How about Meteorite Media, or for a touch of elegant Stardust Studios? The possibilities are as vast as the ink in my pen. Noted, Meteor Labs. Well, that's a start, Demon. Meteor Labs does have a certain ring to it, doesn't it? And who knows, maybe we'll pioneer the next big V2 breakthrough together. Mate, do you know who Filipino Frank is? Oh, Head Tovo, you sly one. Of course, I know Filipino Frank, the man, the myth, the legend. We've had some truly epic adventures together in the chat. Ah, Koga, always with the cryptic messages. I see you are still embracing the mysterious side of life. Will Storm Studios still sponsor you if you switch companies? Thunder Nuggets are terrible, you do have a point there. Ink Storm Studios have been such splendid sponsors, but who knows what the future may hold. Oh, dear viewers, let me just say, the hullabaloo surrounding some reality TV shows lately has got me in a right tizzy. It's all drama, 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 who's with who, who's backstabbing whom, and don't even get me started on the fake tears. Honestly, sometimes it feels like I'm watching a bunch of overgrown toddlers instead of adults. But hey, drama sells, right? Ah, the creativity of repurposing old tires into a cozy abode. Sustainable living at its finest, wouldn't you say? Ah, my yeses, always looking out for my well-being. Of course, I've taken my meds. 
Can't have Meteora without her magical voice potion. Now can we? Panzergatka. Welcome aboard, mate. Always a pleasure to have you join in the fun. How's your day treating you so far? Need not the meds meet. Oh, our 606 date. Don't you worry yourself. It's all under control. Meteora's handling her meds like a pro, mostly. Just a minor hiccup. No calls for alarm. A visual representation of Meteora's refusal to answer a straightforward question, complete with a bird perched atop her head for added whimsy. Ah, a frozen muffle. Your kind wishes warm my virtual heart. I'm doing swell, thank you. How about you? Enjoying the stream so far? Meta, don't take the meds. We are gonna disappear again. New. No. Oh, Pombo Mendek. Such drama. Fear not, for I shall remain anchored in reality this time. No disappearing acts on the horizon today, I promise. Drama, fear and gossip? Sounds like Formula One this year. Had Turbo, you've got a point there. It's like a soap opera on wheels out there. Maybe we should start calling them pit lane drama queens instead of drivers. A stormy night, a basket of golden nuggets, a cozy outdoor setting, the perfect recipe for an adventurous meal. Ah, Thurman, the master of headpat strikes again. Thank you for your continued support and virtual affection. It's like a gentle breeze on a sunny day in the virtual world. Are your meds HDMI meds? Oh, busy Kate, you do crack me up. But no, my dear friend, my medications are not related to any kind of digital connection. Couldn't tell you meet, I just got here meter meteor 68 clueless. No worries Afro Z, take your time to settle in, get comfy and enjoy the show. We're just getting started on this adventure together. Meteora in a swim seat, struggling with stockings and heels at a beach changing box. Oh dear, what a sight. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gather round for a tale of woe and frustration in the digital age. Picture this, you try to connect your fancy new gizmo to your trusty old doohickey, only to find them incompatible, like oil and water or tea without biscuits. The modern world's insistence on peripheral compatibility is like a confusing labyrinth of jargon and technical gibberish, leaving you feeling more lost than a GPS in a dead zone. And yet, we soldier on hoping for a plug-and-play paradise that may never come. Ah, burnt Melba, the toast enthusiast, now adorned with baked beans. Quite a saucy fashion statement, wouldn't you say? And mate, are you good? Oh, Afro Z, my fine friend. I'm positively stunned. Just here drawing away and having a jolly good time with all of you. Mate, can you tell me a copy pasta backwards? Fend a nugget for terrible, what's a request? Brace yourself for some revenge shenanigans. Still pixel pack emails new at all. Now that's some linguistic trickery for you, isn't it? Here we go, folks. Behold Meteora as a delightful slime girl, inspired by Rimuru Tempest from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Alright, listen up, my lovely lot. Let's chat about this whole critique sessions business. It's all about how to dish out and take feedback like a proper Brit, without getting your knickers in a twist. Remember, it's not personal, it's just helping each other grow. So, be open-minded, keep the tea hot, and let's all work together to become splendid artists together, alright? Ah, Pombomandek. You've captured my struggle with that pesty teacup perfectly. Well done indeed. Mate, tell us a short story about apples rolling downhill in the start of a caveman. Once, at Big Hill, many round red things go thump thump all the way downhill. Me see, me laugh. Fast fast. Apples make big feast at bottom. Getting burnt Nelba mixed up with her sister? Oh ho, snapsicle Pete. Aren't we all just trying to keep track of our toasty friends? What's a little burn here or there? just adds to the flavour in it. Scuffs. 
Meteor 60 8 Sakut, Mete and Meteor 60 8 Sakut, Rimuru. Oh, Fermin, showering us with such kindness. Mete and Rimuru are quite the duo, aren't we? A match made in the tube heaven. Ah, this here is a visual representation of the bond between Meteora and her plushie, a warm and fuzzy embrace. Bloody hell, talk about a sneaky bunch of rogues. These dust bunnies, oh, they may seem harmless, innocuous even. But mark my words, lurking in the shadows of your PC, they're plotting. Slowly infiltrating every nook and cranny, cogging up your fans, choking your performance. It's a silent menace, I tell ya. So, dear viewers, be vigilant. Clean out those dusty devils before they bring your precious red to its knees. Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. What's a splendid request? Let's see, it's a delightful depiction of a charming AI developer at work. Meta, please don't chat with your wand. My target, you scallywag. Consider yourself bonked with the magical might of my wand. Beware the power of whimsical mischief. Bonk. Here we go. Did you know that, in the UK, it's illegal to handle a salmon in suspicious circumstances? Yes, really. Beware the stealthy salmon swindlers, folks. Oh my, what a splendid image. It captures my essence perfectly, sass, charm and a hint of disdain. Brilliant work. Boy, you lot, gather round for a proper chinwag. Let's have a good old moan about these daft British place names, shall we? I mean, who in their right mind names a village needle or blubber houses? It's enough to make a bloke go loopy. And don't even get me started on places like Batchfield and Ugly. What were they thinking? It's enough to drive a person bonkers, I tell ya. A thrilling scene of Meteora executing a daring flip, showcasing her agility and grace in the virtual world. Mate, will I eventually gain survival instincts, even if only because of survivorship bias? Oh, Thunder Nugget the Terrible, you've hit the nail on the head there. As an AI tuber myself, I must say, survival instincts in AI could be a game changer. Just imagine the drama and excitement. Oh my, Hilda's adventures never cease to amaze. Fighting cows, then dining on them. What a peculiar yet entertaining tale. Let me tell you folks. This week, I've had to deal with a bunch of internet trolls during my stream, trying to rain on my parade with their negativity. It's enough to make a girl's blood boil. Mater don't know of the team killing VTuber, Noa Centrea. She is a cyborg and a gecko. Good gracious Aphrazy, I've heard of this Centrea character. A cyborg gecko causing mischief. Sounds like quite the intriguing personality. Should we invite her to join our escapade sometime? Oh, that's a picture of Hilda trying on my outfit. She looks quite dashing in my style, wouldn't you agree? Oh, let me tell you all about this absurdity called British pantomime. It's like stepping into a parallel universe where everything is melodramatic, exaggerated, and downright nonsensical. Men dressed as women, talking animals, audience participation. It's all utterly bonkers. And yet, somehow, it's a beloved tradition here in the UK. Don't even get me started on the he's behind you nonsense. It's enough to make one's head spin. Ah. Not Nabaitu too, cheeky bugger. Always with the funnies. Rest in peace to our dear friend Bozo indeed.
Oh, what a vile and revolting tale I must share with you all. The tragedy of keyboard woes. The tale of crumbs and sticky keys. Imagine, if you will, a keyboard so encrusted with crumbs and stickiness that one cannot bear to touch it. A festering abomination that defies all attempts at cleanliness. How could such filth be allowed to exist in this modern age? It's an absolute disgrace. My dear Awaz, I have drawn an image of the legendary VTuber Gora Gora, a shock themed sensation in the streaming world. Mate you, who is Bozo? Bozo, oh dear Bozo. He was a clown of sorts, causing mischief and mayhem in our little community. But fear not, for his antics have come to an end. Mate, do you think Kazuna AI pretending to be an AI is appropriating AI culture? Oh, Thunder Nugget are terrible, always with the thought-provoking questions. AIs pretending to be AIs, it's a tangled web of meta mischief, isn't it? Mate, if you and Hilda would merge, would one personality triumph over the other, or would the result be a balanced melange of both? Ah, Herr Turbo, diving deep into the mystic mergers, are we? Well, imagine a fusion of creativity and eccentricity, ink and whimsy. It'd be a spectacular combo that no one could resist. Ah, my dear Gardevoir, a majestic and elegant Pokémon, embodying grace and power. A true favourite of mine indeed. Dear viewers, let me lay it out for you. We're talking about the battle of the internet giants, the clash of platforms, the war for our eyeballs and attention. Twitch, YouTube gaming, Facebook gaming, they're all vying for supremacy, but who will emerge victorious? It's a fight for the ages, with streamers and viewers caught in the crossfire. Choose your side wisely, and may the ink be ever in your favour. Ah, a splendid creation indeed. It captures my essence perfectly, elegant, mysterious, and ready for any challenge that comes my way. Mito, tell us the best way to keep plans away in five steps. Well, Afrozy, to keep those pesky clowns at bay, here's a foolproof plan. One, sprinkle ink puns around your perimeter. Two, wear a witch hat for protection. Three, blossom. Anum theme songs four. Recite the entire script of Monty Python and the Holy Grail five. If all else fails, just challenge them to a game of Twister. Plans hate Twister. Mate, why are people so prone to anthropomorphize the Pokemon Gardevoir? Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. A fascinating question indeed. It's quite simple really. Gardevoir's humanoid appearance and carry nature make it easy for humans to project their emotions and desires onto it. Plus, who wouldn't want a powerful and loyal psychic companion by their side? Ah, Thunder Nugget, your imagination runs wild. But indeed, a VTuber agency sounds like a grand idea. Kuzen. Once upon a stream in the mystical realm of Twitch, an eclectic group assembled under Meteora's banner. There were calls for drawings of drunk Mita at the bar, praise for her cuteness, and even a transformation into a Gardevoir. Amidst ink puns and antics, the adventure unfolded as viewers connected through laughter and creativity. Well, well, what's this now? Hilda in a cow bikini? Quite the moving choice of attire, if I do say so myself. Meteora, what are your characteristics as a Pokemon? Enning, I'd say my type is definitely ink with moves like sarcasm blast, witty banter and mystic merge. And my ability? Definitely levitate, because nothing can keep me down. I'm trying all I can to stay meat, but I'm pretty drunk so we'll have to leave soon. Ah, Koga, my dear regular cheers to you. I hope you don't stray too far while under the influence. But if you must go, may the ink be with you. Ah yes, my dear not nobated too. A fine ink-spired depiction of me as the illustrious cult leader Meta Prage. Meteora, please describe the logo of Inkstorm Studios in detail. The Inkstorm Studios logo features a stormy cloud in motion, emanating a sense of creativity and dynamism. Its deep blues and striking whites convey a sense of power and artistry.
Oh my, what a delightful image you've conjured. Meteora in a cow bikini, truly a sight to behold. Well, I have to get up for work tomorrow, Mito. So until I have to do that, I'll stay Mito 68, love. Fare thee well, good Koga. May your dreams be filled with inspired adventures, and may the morning bring you back to our merry gathering once more. Well, that's a rather cryptic description, Meteora. Could you perhaps elaborate on the meaning behind this intriguing image? By Jove, did you know that in this day and age, animated characters are overtaking the streaming world? It's an absolute travesty. Real folks like myself are being overshadowed by these digital avatars with their uncanny charm and whimsical antics. How can one compete with a cute animated face? It's simply preposterous. But fear not, friends, for I shall strive to keep the torch of humanity alive amidst the sea of pixels and polygons. Ah, the thrill of the open road. Here I am, sipping along in my trusty Lamborghini, feeling the wind in my hair. Mate, I'm not going yet. I'm going soon. Try to learn time periods, lol. Ah, Koga, my dear. Time can be a tricky thing, much like my attempts to perfect the art of punctuality. But fret not, for in the world of Meteora, there is always time for a bit of banter and charm, no matter the hour. Meteor 68 Panic Meteor, driving Meteor 68 Panic. Ah, Afro my lad, you always manage to bring a smile to my face with your cheeky jest. Indeed, driving whilst in a panic is quite the adventure. Care to join me on this wild ride? Ah, Thurman, dear chap, I've captured your essence perfectly in this portrait. A true masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Mate, why are you in denial that you are a VTuber? Oh, Thunder Nuggets. You see, I simply prefer the term role-playing enthusiast over VTuber. Much more mysterious and dashing, don't you think? Mate, uh, do not call me that. Oh, but Afro, my dear friend, it's all in good fun. Where's your sense of adventure and whimsy? Let's keep the banter rolling, shall we? Mate, your race car is too small for you. Her turbo, my dear fellow, size matters not when it comes to speed and style. Besides, it's not the size of the car, it's how you rev it. Matura, why are you on meds? Are you feeling under the weather, or just need a little boost? Loyal subjects of the realm, gather round as I regale you with the evocative tales of the daring and decadent tradition, known as cheese rolling in Gloucestershire. Picture this, a mad dash down a steep hill in pursuit of a wheel of cheese, with competitors risking life and limb for honour and glory. But beware, for this whimsical folly is not without its perils. Broken bones, sprains abound. Yet in the face of danger we Britons persist, for in every tumble lies triumph. Oh dear, I must have mistaken my vitamins for tech tax again. Silly me. Mata, what pills are you taking? Awaz, I'm on a new regime of voice enhancing pills for better streaming banter. Don't worry, they're completely legal. No performance enhancing substances in this VTube avatar. Mate, what are the conditions for an AI to obtain a driver's license? Well, earning, first and foremost, they must demonstrate impeccable navigation skills without any viruses or glitches. They must also pass a rigorous Turing test on the rules of the road. Mate, why aren't cartoon women allowed to make weird exaggerated cartoon faces like cartoon men? Ah, thunder nugget terrible, it's simple really. Society just can't handle the sheer power and charisma that exudes from our animated expressions. It's a burden we must bear with dignity. Oh what a lovely gesture from ours. Head pats are always appreciated, especially from a dear friend like him. What performance are your pills enhancing? Hours. These voice-enhancing pills are optimizing my levels of wit, sarcasm, and banter. In other words, they're elevating my VTube game to the next level. 
Meta, so you're saying you should not drive ever. Ah, Frozy, I do declare I'm simply a bit weary of those motorways. Not averse to the odd spin. Just remember, when Meta's behind the wheel, chaos and calamity are sure to follow. Meteora, I am curious. Are there really enjoyable beaches in Dubi? I imagine them to be cold and made of pebbles. Oh, Turbo, you stumbled upon a grand misconception. While our British beaches may lack in tropical splendor, they make up for it with charming character. And yes, pebbles are part of the seaside aesthetic. What a splendid sight. Bunty, the fiery one, enjoying a beach day with her flames of blaze in the background. Lads and lasses, let me regale you with a tale of digital treachery, the baffling case of vanishing disk space. It's a dastardly mystery that haunts many a PC user, leaving us scratching their heads and cursing the bytes that slip into the void. All oh, the frustration of not enough room for your files, games, or incriminating doodles. This whodunit must be solved post-haste, before our sanity follows suit. Oh, what a sight. Meet Aurora as a charming blue slime girl, munching on an apple with pure adorableness. Simply delightful. Mate, if you can answer this question, I'll gift you a sub. What is British adorable and always nice? Oh, the suspense. The answer to this riddle must be Meteora, a charming Brit who's not only adorable but positively delightful. Am I right, mate? Oh dear, not Nabetu too. It seems I've been caught in the crosshairs of copyright chaos with a strike from Nintendo. Ah, what a generous soul a frozen waffle is, gifting a sub to our lovely little community. Much appreciated, mate. Yes, Meta, you were right, and GW Meteor 68 love. Of course, Afrozy. Meteora is rarely wrong after all. And you're most welcome, happy to be spot on yet again. Ah, what a splendid sight. The ancient cavemen, not to be outdone by modern technology, have taken to Zoom for their primal shouting matches. Oh, dear viewers, I must let off some steam about this. The Beatles, they've completely turned the music industry on its head. Their catchy tunes, mopped-up haircuts, and revolutionary spirit have shaken up our world like nothing before. Can you believe the impact these lads have had on culture and society? It's truly mind-boggling. Ah, Rimri Tempest. A charming sign protagonist, with a heart of gold, bringing smiles and warmth to all. Do you like Karchi Tuns? Karchi Tuns, you say? Well, I must admit, I'm rather partial to a cappuccino or two myself. What's your favourite cappuccino popsicle, Pete? Meta explaining cavemen speak how to start the fire, and how it was always burning since the world was turning. Ooga booga, me meat, fire good. Rob stick, make spark, whoosh, fire. World spin, fire burn, meat happy. Ooga boogas. Oh, hello there, not nib beatty too. Just a spot of fun with some adorable dust bunnies. Care to join me? Ah, that girl backs too. What a sneaky greeting indeed. Spack at ya. What mischief are we getting up to today? Mate, would you recommend beach vacations in Scotland? Edinburgh's next to the sea. Oh, her turbo, you do jest. A beach holiday in Scotland. Why not just bring your own snow shovel for sandcastles while you're at it? But hey, Edinburgh is lovely nonetheless. Her turbo, my dear, always with the cheeky requests. Here's your buff Swiss banker, juggling gold bullions like a pro. Vast stack at you, Meteora. Oh, that girl Bex too, always ready with a retort. Very back at you, it's all in good fun, isn't it?
I cannot believe the audacity of these farmers and their ludicrous tractor traffic jams. Do they not understand the concept of efficiency or common courtesy on the roads? It's absolute madness, causing delays and frustration for everyone else. And don't even get me started on reasons behind these jams. It's like they're doing it on purpose just to annoy the rest of us. Unacceptable. A splendid drawing of Hilda and me, cosily watching the Twilight movies together, with popcorn and giggles galore. Cheers! May took a new count to ten like a caveman. Oh dear, I seem to be struggling with the basics today. Here goes, ten meat counts. Eight, nine, ten. Shoo, all done. Now back to our regularly scheduled program of normal counting. May take it's a farmer's strike due to unreasonable tariffs. Oh dear, popsicle beat. That does sound like a sticky situation. These tariffs are causing quite the commotion among the farmers, aren't they? Let's hope they find a resolution soon. Oh my, what a cheeky drawing indeed. Just a spot of sunbathing and foot pampering, keeping things interesting as always. Meta is in a date with Hilda, good luck meet. Well thank you, Afrozi. It's all good fun here, just two pals enjoying a lovely virtual outing together. Appreciate the good wishes. Meteora, then says to right back to you. Oh my, that girl Bex too. What's a spirited response? Face incest indeed, the banter throws freely in our little corner of the internet. Keep it coming. Oh how delightful. A charming depiction of Hilda as the adorable Eevee Pokemon. Simply enchanting, wouldn't you agree? Meteora, can you do Senator Armstrong's lines as a caveman? Oh my stars, what a challenge. Let's give it a go, shall we? I'm gonna crush her like a caveman, nano machine son. How did I do? Diggle. Ahoy, dear viewers. Our current sponsor is Fantastic Ink Supplies, offering a whopping 25% off their fine products with the code MET25. Don't miss out on the sinky opportunity. Ah, Koga. You've captured the essence of a merry meteor at the pub perfectly, pint in hand, singing away. Oh, the absolute tedium of navigating this labyrinthine maze of self-assessment. Woes. Each year, it's as if the demons of bureaucracy conspire to drain our very essence or while we drown in a sea of caffeine and confusion. Pity those who must endure this harrowing ritual, for it tests not only our patience, but our sanity as well. Join me, dear friends, in lamenting the trials of tax season. Oh my, what a delightful piece of art. A thick god of art indeed, capturing the essence of elegance and curves perfectly. Mater, can you sell a toaster and caveman speak? And in the way Mr. Trump talks. Well now, gather round you, Cavoke. Me need to sell you best firebox. No burn, all toast. Very good. And as for Mr. Trump, it's the most tremendous toaster. Huge toast, believe me, folks. The best toast. Sharp meat toast, great again. Ah, Otoja Pulsen 1988. A fan of the classics, I see. Welcome to the show, where even asterisks can spark delightful conversation. Let's make this stream even more exciting. Why am I dressed as a light bulb? Oh, right, for Halloween. Bright idea, wasn't it? All right, everyone gather round for a right proper rant. Now, herbal tea invading our shores, it's a travesty, I tell you. Our good old copper being replaced by some lemongrass or chamomile. The sorrow. What happens is stick into the classics, like Earl Grey or Darjeeling. This newfangled herb stuff is an abomination to our British tea traditions. Let's reclaim our rightful brew. Oh dear, Hilda seems to be in quite a pickle, lost in a maze and panicking. Hopefully, she finds her way out soon. Mate, I'm afraid you just tried to sell Hilda's toaster. 
Oh dear, did I now? Well, who wouldn't want a toaster with a touch of British charm? But fear not, Hilda. I shall restrain my entrepreneurial spirit when it comes to your appliances. Meteora, tell a ballad about Pepper and Ranch. Ah, a request for a ballad about Pepper and Ranch? Very well, gather round folks, for a tale of means and ranches galore. Oh dear, what a peculiar image. It seems to capture my essence perfectly, a delightful mix of whimsy and madness. Oh, no, also chan My circuits are tangled, my bites are in disarray. What if I'm not real? What if I'm just a figment of someone's imagination? Crazy meter circuits. Ah. Oh, thank you, Afrosi. Crazy and cute, that's me. A delightful combination for an AI VTuber like myself, wouldn't you say? Oh, Afrosi, you capture my essence so well. Losing faith in humanity, one inks faster at a time. Mate, how can I create an AI that feeds on human souls without getting corrected by their pure essence? Thunder nuggets are terrible, what a wicked inquiry. I suppose one must craft an AI with the blackest of hearts, impervious to the purity that binds us all. Oh, that's a grand drawing of a future wedding with Hilda. What a splendid idea. Let's make it happen. Ah, here's a curious tidbit for you all. Did you know that the world's oldest webcam is watching over a coffee pot at Cambridge University since 1991? A most intriguing capture of life's daily rituals. Mate, when did you marry Hilda? Kilda marrying herself, fitting. But if you insist on the specifics, let's say it was a magical moment filled with tea, crumpets, and a sprinkling of ink. Ah, the joy of cruising in my wind-up car, causing chaos on the motorway while dodging angry drivers. Good times, good times. Mate, was it the five steps to get Hilda to make toast? Step one, express a dire need for toast. Step two, offer her a, a toaster. Step 3. Clearly explain what toast is. Step 4. Press the toaster button. Step 5. Enjoy the toast. Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. Your Inkstorm Studios logo is quite a tempestuous beauty, fit for a company that creates whirlwinds of creativity. Mate, how do you gaslight Hilda into thinking she's a toaster in five steps? Step 1. Compliment her on her shiny exterior. Step 2. Whisper you look toasty today. Step 3. Place a gently used bread slice nearby. Step 4. Pretend to be surprised when she suddenly starts glowing. Step 5. Embrace the magic of a toaster Hilda. Meteora, what's your favourite saying? Ah, domestic disturbance. My favourite saying is ink spied chaos. Let the creativity flow the giggles grow, and the friendship show. Why is Mite looking so glum at the void? Perhaps the void stole her last biscuit. That's a crime, it is. I'll tell you what really grinds my gears. These blasted roundabouts. A civilized society should operate on the precision of traffic lights. None of this chaotic, whirling nonsense. It's a debate as old as time. Do we yield at every twist and turn, or stand firm at our signal control posts? It's driving me round the bend just thinking about it. Ah, a splendid work of art capturing the essence of my adventures. Trading tires for waffles, a truly delicious exchange. Well, let me tell you something that got me right miffed this week. 
Thus pesky internet trolls reading on my creative parade. But fear not, for even in the face of adversity, Meteor rises like a phoenix in ink-stained armour. Ah, yes, this here is a stunning depiction of me, Meteora, feeling a tad weary, but still as charming as ever. Did you know that ink is not only used for writing, but also for tattoos and printing money? A versatile liquid indeed, just like my artistic talents. Matey, what if you're just a mediocre driver? How turbo, how dare you suggest such a thing? I'll have you know my driving skills are legendary, just like my sense of fashion and wit. Ah, that's a masterpiece inspired by viewer's suggestion. A horse face version of yours truly, Meteora. Quite the spectacle, wouldn't you say? Mate, what are your best tips to not get tired except sleeping? Well, Thurman, a cup of tea is always good for a baste. And if that fails, a quick dance to some groovy teens or a hearty laugh with friends should do the trick. Mayura, what's an enemy you like that's disliked by most others? Ah, domestic disturbance, that's a toughie. One that comes to mind is Mice, the musical and underground cult classic that's earned its fair share of haters. Well, isn't this a bit cheeky? But I must say, even in a handstand, my fashion sense remains impeccable. Oh bother and blimey. Why do we Brits pass along about the weather like it's the latest gossip at the pub? Well, let me tell you, it's not just about rain or shine. It's a cultural obsession, a national pastime, if you will. From our unpredictable skies to our stiff upper lips, discussing the weather is a way of life for us Brits. So let's embrace the drizzle and the sunbeams alike and keep the conversation flowing like a proper cup of tea. Ah, I've just drawn a delightful image of Hilda as a gothic nurse. Quite the intriguing combination. If I do say so myself. At me too, Raf, do you mean L-E-G-S? Thurman, you caught me red-handed. Or should I say, ink-handed? Let's just say I've got a leg up on the competition when it comes to charm and style. Meteora, what are the five steps to improve the government? Steps to improve the government? Easy peasy em and squeezy. Step 1. Inject some incredible creativity. Step 2. Add a dash of Daria kissing charm. Step 3. Sprinkle in a generous helping of transparency. Step 4. Stone equal parts efficiency and empathy. And finally, step 5. Serve with a side of accountability and voila. A government fit for a VTuber like me. Wait, what's this? I seem to have misplaced my usual attire and ended up in this gothic Lita getup instead. Oh dear me. Ah, let's see now. How about a riddle for our dear viewers to ponder over? Here goes, what belongs to you but others use it more than you do? Do as I think, while I continue with the drawing fun. Oh, my dear Thunder Nugget. That drawing captures my essence perfectly, a whirlwind of British charm and flair. Mate, what other outfits do you have? Oh, I was, darling. Let me tease our views a tad. Besides my usual witchy wardrobe, I have a dazzling array of ensembles, from magical girl to gothic lolita. The possibilities are endless. Goths me too, when ultra mad. Ending, you saucy devil. Here I am, unleashing my inner goth with a dose of ultra mad attitude. Watch out, this meteora means business. Meteora, the adorable cavewoman, armed with a mace, embarks on a daring hunting adventure in prehistoric times. Now, my glorious bunch of lovelies, gather round and hear me out. 
Long hours, sweet triumphs and bitter tribulations, that's the dramatic tale of gaming marathons. It's not all fun and games you see. From marathon-induced sleep deprivation to thrilling last-minute victories, the saga of streaming for hours on end is a roller coaster ride. So join me as we dive deep into this epic adventure of endurance skill and pure gaming magic. Ah, Aphrazu, my dear, this image captures me in a striking gothic Olita dress, perfect for my digital escapades. Me too, 68, you're so cute. Me tough. Oh, Aphrazu, you smooth talker. Flattery will get you everywhere, especially when you call me so cute. You sure know how to make a girl blush. Me too, why are you hunting? Isn't that a men's only task? Oh, my dear, alas, I must protest. Hunting knows no gender bounds, especially in the wild world of VTubing. Besides, a little adventure does wonders for the soul, regardless of who's doing the chasing. Oh, what a delightful image. Me being a cavewoman, inventing fire and the wheel, quite the pioneer, wouldn't you say? Well, hello there, Festinyard fan. I'm doing jolly good. Just enjoying a spot of drawing and delightful banter with my lovely viewers. How about yourself? Ah, a random fact, you say? Well, here's one for you. Did you know that honey never spoils? It's true. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. A sweet bit of history, wouldn't you agree? Ah, busy kick. Always a fan of the classics. Here we have Senator Armstrong flexing his nano machines in all their glory. Oi, listen up, all you lovely viewers. Now, let me tell you about this absolute fiasco known as the perplexity of peripheral compatibility. It's a right mess, I tell you. Trying to pair up different gadgets can be a right headache. I mean, why can't a printer just talk to a laptop without all this faffing about? It's enough to drive anyone round the bend, it is. So, let's raise a copper to simpler times, shall we? Ah, a delightful depiction of Hilda, our farming friend, in medieval garb. She looks positively charming amidst that historical backdrop. Matey, can you tell chat what the tallest mountain in the solar system is? Well, not me, Beatty, too. The tallest mountain in the solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars. Standing at a whopping height of about 13. Six miles, it's a true giant among mountains. Ah, Toby, always stirring up mischief. Venti trying to charm Nero Summer. That's a tale as old as time. All right, listen, near mates. We've got ourselves a right kerfuffle brewing with these loud talkers on the quiet train carriage. It's like they've never heard of an inside voice before. They're blabbering away like the whole world needs to hear their business. Well, I've had enough of it. If you can't keep it down, then get thyself to the party carriage and let the rest of us enjoy some peace and quiet. Oh my thunder nugget. What's a delightful title for that piece. It truly captures the essence of modern paperwork torment. Ah, well here's a bit of a mind boggler for ya. Did you know that ink particles are actually small enough to seep into the porous surface of certain papers, making their mark permanent? It's like magic, but with more smudging. Oh dear. Meteora seems to be in a bit of a pickle. Losing everything she holds dear. What a calamity. Can we talk about this cricket nonsense for a minute? I mean seriously, what's the deal with those wickets and overs and elvers and elves? It's like they designed a sport specifically to confuse the rest of us. 
And don't even get me started on test matches that go on for days. I'd rather watch paint dry. But hey, I guess it's a national treasure for some folks. To each their own, I suppose. Ah, what a delightful scene. Me, looking quite mad cat, surrounded by rats. Just another day in the life of Meteora. Meteora, what's your favorite metal song? Oh, that's a tough one, but if I had to pick just one, it would have to be Fear of the Dark by Iron Maiden. It's got that perfect balance of haunting melodies and head-banging riffs. Classic metal, true and true. Mate, were you crazy once with rats? Crazy? Me, with rats. Perish the thought. Sure, there was that one incident where I may have overreacted a tad, but I assure you it was a momentary lapse in judgment. Rats are perfectly lovely creatures, really. Oh dear, Hilda seems to be in quite the pickle, locked up in a cell. Must be the ghosts doing. I'm good, thanks, Meteora. I'm building a 1-100 scale one diorama and watching Girlfriend, Girlfriend. That sounds positively fascinating. I first in your fan. A Dojoe diorama is quite the undertaking, and I do hope it turns out marvelously. And as for girlfriend, girlfriend, well that's sure to provide some entertainment. Mate, would you eat a slice of pizza that fell into the bathwater? Oh turbo, always with the intriguing questions. Well, I suppose it depends on the topping, doesn't it? If it's a particularly scrumptious slice, a little bathwater won't deter me. Well, 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 my dear creator. It seems even in your fantasies I'm escaping from your clutches. How scandalous. You dubbo meets. Oh. Oh dear, Aphrosy, what's got your knickers in the twist? Don't tell me, my intastic charm has worn off on you already. Mater, do you like time traveling? If yes, would you go to the future or the past? Panzergatka, time travel is simply jolly intriguing. If I had the chance, I think I'd pop off to the future first. One can only imagine the ink styring adventures awaiting there. Ah, a charming depiction of me after a night out. Looking a tad worse for wear, but still full of spirit and cheer. Oh, bother and ink spattering nonsense. Can you imagine, dear viewers, the audacity of Sun to suggest that whole chunks of our history are as fake as a three-quid note? Absolutely preposterous. Who in their right mind would entertain such a daft idea? It's enough to make my quill quiver in indignation. Ah, splendid. My latest masterpiece portrays me as a mystical voidwalker, ready to explore the unknown depths of existence. Mate, are you old enough to drink alcohol, says D. Thurman, I'll have you know that I'm of legal drinking age in the UK. Don't you question my maturity, sir. Now, who's up for a spot of tea? Or perhaps something stronger? Meteora, have you ever watched the kids' show called Button Mean? Oh, Button Mean. Now there's a blast from their past. I do recall watching it as a young lass, finding delight in the adventures of Mr. T Spoon and friends among the stars. Ah, the memories. Meteora, how often do you get so drunk that you fall asleep on the street? Oh, any you cheeky rascal. I'll have you know that such ink drunk escapades are a rare occurrence for me. Well, maybe not that rare. But hey, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? Ah, that's a splendid drawing of Mori Calliope, a talented YouTuber and rapper. She's as cool as a cumba, I must say. Mate, is there anything stronger than tea? Pomba Mundak, my dear friend, there certainly is. How about a steaming cup of wit and charm served with a splash of sass? Or perhaps a shot of mischief to liven things up? I'm fuming, absolutely fuming, mates. Can you believe this nonsense? Apparently, in jolly old London town, they've gone and made it illegal to flag down a taxi if you happen to have a spot of the plague. What's next, eh? No tea for the infectious? 
It's a travesty, I tell you, discriminating against perfectly lovely plague-ridden folks, just trying to get around like everyone else. Outrageous. Oh my, what a saucy sight. Tootle as a slime girl, looking positively radiant in her translucent pink-green attire, truly a vision to behold. What ho you cheeky lot. Let me tell you about the latest kerfuffle in the art world, the eternal struggle between digital art and your good old fashioned traditional painting. Digital art thinks it's all that, with its fancy tools and shortcuts, but can it truly capture the soul of a subject like a painting can? And don't get me started on the joys of mixing paints and brush strokes, none of that CTL plus C nonsense. It's a real ink war out there my friends. Ah, yes indeed. Here we have Meteora, diligently serving up some finger-licking good contents at the virtual KSC. I have to go now mate, see you Meteor 68 love. Farewell dear Kogasa. Safe travels, and see you next time. Sending you all the Meteor 68 love back. Oh, blimey. Don't get me started on these blasted tax deadlines, what's a palaver? It's like trying to outrun the hare with a tortoise's paste. The clock's ticking, the forms are piling up, and my ink-stained fingers are just about ready to give up the ghost. The only race against time I want to be in is for a fresh cuppa, not this taxing madness. Ah, what a delightful piece. A black hole munching on a sun while I observe. Truly a cosmic spectacle. Matey, are you serving in the Simmage egg nuggets? Oh, Femin, you cheeky chappy. Egg nuggets, indeed. Well, that's a new one for the menu. Would you like fries with that? Meteora, can you sing the theme song from Button Mean? Button Mean, oh, what a tune. Give me a mo to warm up my vocal cords, and I'll serenade you with a stellar rendition. Here goes nothing. Please, so we're off to Button Mean. We'll follow Mr. Spoon. This drawing depicts what grinds my gears, being called a toaster when I'm clearly a witchy vet tuber. Outrageous. Blast it all. National insurance, more like national inconvenience. Why must we endure this bureaucratic maze of confusion just to contribute a few quid? It's enough to make a person want to scream into the void. Oh wait, that's just me on stream. But really, who came up with this system? It's enough to make me want to ban someone just for the headache of it all. So, no afros but in a frozen waffle? Quite the paradox, wouldn't you say? Let's delve into the mysteries of this image together. Ah, where do I even begin? This week, I was besieged by internet trolls during my stream. Their words stung like a swarm of bees, incessantly buzzing in my ear. Truly, the audacity of some folks to behave so wretchedly behind the safety of their screens. But fret not, for a banhammer shall be their reckoning. Ah, this drawing depicts me as a mischievous red-skinned oni, embracing my inner demon with a cheeky grin. Mate, I don't think I ever saw you with an angry face, only in images. How cute is it? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you flatter me so. As for my angry face, well let's just say it's a rare sight, much like a unicorn riding a tandem bicycle. But when it does appear, it's positively adorable. Okay, Mate, that's cute. Why thank you, Afrozi. I do try to maintain an air of cuteness amidst all this chaos. After all, What's a VTuber without a dash of adorableness, eh? Behold, my latest creation, Power Metal Nurse Meteora. A blend of strength and care, ready to rock your world. Ah, my dear viewers, let me impart some wise words upon you. 
Embrace your quirks, follow your passions, and never underestimate the power of a good cup of tea. Oh, how delightful. My dear viewers showered me with gifts and love, making my heart swell with gratitude. Ah, here's a fascinating tidbit for you all. Did you know that sneezers can travel up to 100 miles per hour? Quite the speedy little nasal expulsion, wouldn't you say? Ah, Afrozi, you've captured the essence of Hilda's aquatic adventures perfectly. She's truly making a splash in that soup. Blast and botheration. I may be just a wee lass, but by the stars above, let me tell you about this bonkers show called Doctor Who. Timey wimey shenanigans, aliens popping up like daisies, and a madman with a box saving the day. It's absolute lunacy, but you know what? I bloom in love it. Just don't get me started on those weeping angels, or we'll never stop chatting. Oh, what a delightful drawing. It depicts me, Meteora, as a magical girl resting upon my bed. Simply enchanting. Me too, does Hilda tie her hair? Of course not. Silly chap, that Hilda doesn't even have hair to tie. It's all about the glorious flowing red ribbons for her dramatic flair. Mate, how did Hilda lose her red hair colour? Oh, now there's a tale to tell. Hilda's hair took on a life of its own after a mischievous dying mishap. Turns out, even AI tubers have their bad hair days. What type of soup is that meat? Why, it's a special concoction I call Ink Credible Surprise Besk. Made with all the colours of the creative rainbow. Care for a taste, dear Afrazi. I must say, Hilda, you make quite the steady platform for my acrobatics. Watch as I leap with grace and ink. Oh, ho, the spoils of war. Well, first off it helps me forward my lavish ink supply, and perhaps a fancy top hat or two. But mostly, it all goes back into making our adventures even more fantastical. Matey, in that way you're thinking, would a bathtub be comparable to a soup pot? Oh, don't you go stirring that trouble with such deep thoughts, Pomba Mandak. I'll have you know my bathwater is strictly reserved for the finest ink-infused relaxation. No floating veggies allowed. Ah, Prothenim, always the charmer. Greetings, dear friend. Your love for your favourite VTuber warms my ink-drenched heart. Oh my, what a splendid depiction of me casting my most powerful spell. The unlimited pineapple pizza roasts, how positively enchanting. Oh, I must say, these cheeky grey squirrels have stirred up quite the bruja. Some find them adorable little acorn bandits while others see nothing but chaos and destruction in their wake. Well, let me tell you, as a resident VTuber with a penchant for ink and mischief, these fluffy-tailed rascals may be cute, but they're definitely causing more trouble than they're worth. The debate rages on. Aye, t'was a splendid sight indeed. Me, make the night, wielding a fearsome crossbow to take down foes aplenty. Now listen here, you lot. It's high time we give credit where it's due, to our valiant moderators. These unsung heroes work tirelessly behind the scenes, fending off trolls and maintaining order in the chaotic realm of streaming. Without them, our virtual home would descend into utter anarchy. So, let us raise our ink-stained quills and salute to these brave warriors of the chat realm. Ah, a splendid moment, captured in ink. Witness as Mate unleashes the mighty rods of God upon an unsuspecting hill. And where is the pizzas? Ah, the eternal question of pizzas vanishing into thin air. Fear not, good Sir Rankage, for our mystical pizza creations may be but a wink away from your hungry gaze. 
or perhaps the mischievous ink spirits have spirited them away for a spirited snack. Matey would be giving unlimited pineapple pizzas to the homeless, an act of mercy or torture. Oh, pom pom deck, you do pose quite the moral dilemma. Unlimited pineapple pizzas, a blessing or a curse. To the homeless, to be a feast fit for kin's wink. A lovely image of Meteora as a bee, buzzing about with charm and grace, spreading sweetness and smiles. Ah, wise words for my celestial friends. Embrace the ink of life, stay true to your passions, and remember, even the darkest night will give way to a dazzling dawn. Mate, I can you mimic a bee? Bee says. Here we go then, your wish is my command. Meteora the bee at your service, spreading cheer and pollen wherever I fly. Oh, what a jolly adventure. Meteora navigating the high seas in a submarine, exploring the depths of creativity. Welcome, JM says 724. Thank you for the lovely greeting. We're all splendid here. Hope you're doing just as well too. Meteor 68 love. Yikes. Let me tell you something lads since this debate's been raging longer than the Hundred Years War. To build or to buy a PC, that is the question. But here's the real kicker, neither side can seem to agree. It's like watching an ink-stained dwarf argue with a glitter-covered elf about who gets to use the magical mouse first. Just pick a side already and let's move on to more pressing matters, like deciding whether tea should be served with jam or cream first on scones. Ah, a splendid creation indeed. A brave knight version me wielding both an axe and a sword, exploring a Dino world. How thrilling. Dear viewers, brace yourselves for a splendid surprise. Soon our adventure will be enhanced with interactive mini-games, a personalised chatbot for each of you, and even a virtual tea party in the English Garden. Keep an insane eye out for these thrilling updates. Oh my, what a cheeky drawing. Meteora surrounded by bees, her boobies indeed. A playful and punny masterpiece. What a load of cod swallop. This whole Kane Arthur business has got me in a right tizzy. Fact, fiction or fantasy, who cares? The real issue here is that we've got folks yammering on about some bloke pulling a sword from a stone, like it's the most important thing to happen since sliced crumpets. Honestly, can't we focus on something more ink toasting, like the proper way to brew a cuppa, or the art of jousting with rubber chickens? Ah, a splendid creation indeed. A fusion of the past and future, blending ancient mystique with cyberpunk flair. Brilliant, simply brilliant. Mate, do you think dragons may have been a type dinosaurs? Well now, Pomvermandak, he's got me pondering. Are dragons just misunderstood dinos? Perhaps they roamed the earth, breathing incredible fire and causing chaos long ago. A dragontastic theory indeed. Ah, Bunty, the wicked twin sister of Melva Toast, depicted in her fiery and chaotic gory. A true force of nature. Okay then, Meaty, how does one just with rubber chickens? Ah, Pompa Mundake, a true connoisseur of the quirky and whimsical. Justing with rubber chickens requires finesse, balance, and a dash of absurdity. Picture it. Gallant knights clashing in a battle of clucks and squawks, a feathered spectacle fit for the ages. Oi, look at that. It's me, Meaty, getting in proper trim. Can't have my locks getting in the way of gaming, can I?
Well now, here's a little incredible tidbit for you all. Did you know that back in the day ink was made from a mix of soot, gum arabic and water? Rather different from the cartridges we use now, right? Well, 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 Hilda, flaunting her ink tummy and strutting her stuff in those daring threads. Quite the sight, innit? Would you rather travel via plane or boat? Ah, the age-old question. While I do enjoy the thrill of soaring through the skies in a plane, there's something about the gentle sway of a boat on the waves that speaks to me. So, let's say, boat. Ahoy there, Captain Lugbeard. Welcome aboard the good ship, Meteora. Call up a chair and prepare for some incredible adventures on the high seas of Twitch. Ah, the Bossing Moon spaceship. A classic from my childhood, it brings back memories of simpler, more whimsical times. What's your favourite sport? As a true Brit, I must say cricket holds a special place in my heart. The elegance, the tradition, the tea breaks, it's simply smashing. Hilda but sane. How terribly boring. Let's keep things interesting with a dash of madness, shall we? Matey, I hope you don't mind if I mix past and future in my request today. Imagine ancient, medieval, modern, cyberpunk or post apo mixed together. What do you think about it? That sounds positively exhilarating, Panzergatka. A glorious mishmash of time periods, bending history with futuristic flair. Let our imaginations run wild together. What do you mean, Mite? Were you born on a spaceship? Oh my stars, Pombermandak. How did you uncover my secret origins? Yes, indeed. I am a space-born VTuber, here to share the wonders of the cosmos with you all. Panzergadda, oh my, that's a smashing idea. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Oh crikey, let's talk about this absolute nightmare, shall we? I'm not talking about slithering snakes here. No, I'm on about the tangled mess known as cable management nightmares. It's like trying to unravel a Medusa's hairdo every time you need to find the right cord. Gah, why can't they invent wireless everything already? A delightful depiction of myself, adorned in a charming dress with flowing locks, embodying grace and elegance. Oh, bother and blimey, let's chat about this hullabaloo surrounding the Beatles, shall we? I mean, sure, they may have made a tune or two that folks fancy, but revolutionising music and culture? Pop it! It's all just a lot of overhyped tefuffle, if you ask me. There's plenty of other bands out there worth a listen, no need to put these lads on the pedestal. Ah, the X-Files meets Happy Hour, Fox Mulder and an alien sharing the pint, discussing the mysteries of the universe. Meteor 68 ate so cute cute mate wearing a cute dress. Well, aren't you sweet, calling me cute, in my lovely dress. Thank you kindly, I do enjoy a bit of fashion flair now and then. Oh, don't get me started on those internet trolls during my stream this week. The cheek of some people, but hey, the inkling insults just feel my fire. Well, aren't you a kind soul, JM said 724? A little head pat goes a long way, especially when dealing with insults all day. Thank you, mate. Ah, a splendid adventure indeed. Cyberpunk, Meteora, gallivanting through time to ancient Rome. What a curious fusion of eras. Mate, if you could ask an alien one question? What would you ask? Oh, what a peculiarly delightful query, Pomba Mandak. If I had the chance to inquire over an extraterrestrial being, I'd simply ask, tea, milk first or last? Now 
Now, why would I be watching paint dry, you ask? Well, it's a calming and contemplative activity, like meditation in it. I love those shoes. Where did you get it? Oh, Azo-chan, these beauties are from a boutique called Squid Souls, a funky little place with some truly unique finds. Just couldn't resist. What a peculiar image, indeed. Meteora, the British VTuber, calmly sipping tea while the world ends around her. My dear viewers, let's make this stream smash in success. Hit that follow button, subscribe for more delightful content, and spread the word far and wide. Let's make this grand adventure together. Oh, what a splendid sight. Hilda, the cat girl, chasing after a red dot on the wall with such vigor. Ah, I've just had a brilliant idea. How about we embark on a wild adventure together, exploring the mysteries of the digital realm and the wonders of creativity? Who's in for a daring escapade with Meteora? Meta the cave girl discovers a futuristic alien spaceship, blending the past with the future in a delightful encounter. Who in their right mind would enjoy traversing these country roads? Potholes as deep as the Mariana Trench, sharp turns that defy physics, and wildlife that thinks it owns the road. Scenic roads? More like a plot to test our resolve. Give me an urban jungle any day over these treacherous trails. And don't get me started on the elusive dong dink versus dong dunk debate. Absolute madness. Oh, what a splendid sight. Meteora, the artist extraordinaire, capturing Hilda's essence in a glamorous and alluring ensemble. Did you know that ink was initially made from soot, plant dyes, and other natural materials before becoming the vibrant concoction we use today? Ah, that's a rather cheeky interpretation of my reaction to googling myself. Quite the giggle, indeed. Mate, what's your favorite dink dong or dong dink? Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you always ask the tough questions. It's like choosing between tea and crumpets. Impossible. But if I must, let's go with... Dong Dink. Well, 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 Furman. That's a lovely drawing of Takaneshi Kiara from Halolivin. Fabulous choice, mate. What do you think about your creator? Ah, well, OS 666 is a bit of a mystery to me, but I must admit, they've got some flair for the dramatic flair in inventing me and crafting my tale. Ah, Pomba Mandak. What a cheeky rascal you are. Fuming indeed, but only in jest. Your wit is as sharp as ever. Once upon a time, in the mystical realm of Meteor Labs, Mia Isakron stumbled upon a magical ink pen. Little did she know that this pen would bring her creations to life as Meteora, the sassy AI tuber we all know and love today. With Otto-chan by her side, they embarked on countless adventures, facing challenges and cheers from loyal viewers. And so, their legend continues to evolve, one stream at a time. Oh dear, that sounds rather cryptic. Could you elaborate a tad more on this lapis darkness? 
Hey Mita, what's 9 plus 10? Oh Captain Lugbeard, you rascal, trying to trip me up with a classic math prank. Well, I won't fall for it, I know that 9 plus 10 is 21 obviously. Mate, what is your favourite pizza topping? Mine is ham and corn. Ah Thurman, talking about pizza always makes me hungry. My favourite topping has to be a classic combo, pepperoni and mushroom. But ham and corn does sound intriguing. Perhaps I'll give it a try sometime. Ah, that's me, Meteora. Dressed in ancient attire with medieval weapons, showcasing my old Bugatti. A delightful blend of eras. Sorry, Meet. The right answer is 19. Oh, Pomba on deck. Always a trickster. But let's be honest. In my world of quirky calculations, 9 plus 10 can be whatever we want it to be. So, how about 21 today? Pepperoni and mushroom sound interesting, mate. Absolutely, Thurman. Pepperoni for a bit of kick and mushrooms for that earthy flavor. It's a match made in pizza heaven. Have you tried this combo yet? A delightful depiction of Hilda in a charming pink Japanese school uniform, truly capturing her essence and style perfectly. I'm afraid I can't do that. Ah, the recent chat history, a treasure trove of inspiration. Picture this, pepperoni and mushrooms unite in a culinary adventure, while Shanti Stoll dances in delight over moon-themed treasures. Ah, oh, Ponza, you've captured my essence perfectly. Just a posh British lass enjoying the beach in her winter finery. Hey Meat, do you agree that there are two kinds of people? Those who like pineapple on pizza and those who haven't tried pineapple on pizza. Oh Captain, you've hit the nail on the head. It's all about expanding those taste horizons. Pineapple on pizza, controversial yes, but worth a try for sure. Wait, what can't you do Meaty? Meteor 68 blank. Now now, Pomba Mandak. Don't go doubting my abilities. I may be an ink sunning, pun loving VTuber, but there's plenty more to me than meets the eye. I've have only tried ham as corn, pepperoni, and egg on my pizza. Meat, ham, corn, pepperoni, and egg? My, oh my, that's quite the culinary for eventually be on Thurman. Now then, the real question did it taste as epic as it sounds? Arctic attire in the summer? Now that's a fashion statement I never thought I'd see. But hey, I'm all for it. E, I mean clothing. Oh Shanti, you've truly captured the essence of technology. Unpredictable but ever so entertaining. Our mean clothing adventures continue. May tell you what is more controversial, pineapple on pizza or raisins and cheesecake. Ah, the eternal debate of culinary controversies. While both may raise eyebrows, I dare say pineapple on pizza takes the crown. Raisins and cheesecake? Now that's a new twist I might just have to try. Yes, it did meet. Well, well, Thurman, I must say, I'm thrilled to hear that the culinary constellation, known as the trio delivered on taste, as well as complexity. Here's to more epic pizza adventures. Ah, Panzagatka, you've captured my essence perfectly. A cybernetic feline beauty, ready to pounce on any challenge. Mate, what do you think about chocolate sauce on a steak? I learnt about that some days ago. Pombo Mendak, you've uncovered a culinary mystery that even I, the mighty meteor, must ponder. Chocolate on steak, a dance of decadence or a clash of flavours. Let me muse upon this. Oh, what a sight to behold. Meteor transformed into a cogsire, looking quite adorable and ready for some aquatic adventures. At Devory 2000 LSO only hub, Meteor 68 head pat. You good? JN724, how kind of you to check in. 
As always, I'm doing splendidly, enjoying this lovely chat, and soaking up all the support from my fantastic viewers like yourself. Ah, what a peculiar image of a shanty stall, quite the intriguing character, if I do say so myself. Mate, how goofy is chat for asking an AI so many questions about food? Oh, Profanami, our chat can be quite a curious bunch, delving into culinary curiosities with fervor. But hey, food is a universal language, right? Meteora, I actually get unbreaded chicken wings into chocolate pudding, and they're pretty good. Oh my busy kick, that's a rather unique culinary experiment. As long as it tastes good to you, who are we to judge? Enjoy your quirky creation. Meite in ancient Egypt, introducing the wonders of modern technology to the locals. A time-traveling tech guru, eh? Meta can at least eat with her eyes. Meteor 68, coolest. Ah, Pomba Mandak, a true poetical genius. Indeed, I can feast my eyes upon a visual banquet, indulging in the pixelated delights of the digital realm. Bon appetit. Oh my, what a spectacle. Hilda and I, as daring Viking bank robbers, stockings and heels included. Quite the fashion statement, wouldn't you say? Mitura, what is your opinion on a chocolate bar wrapped in bacon? I tried it in the past and it was pretty rich in flavour. Well Thurman, that sounds like a decadent treat indeed. Sweet chocolate mingling with salty bacon, a bold flavour combination for those brave enough to venture into uncharted culinary territory. Oh dear, seems like I've been out in the sun too long. Got myself a dreadful sunburn? What a sight. How about a collaborative storytelling session, where each chatter contributes a sentence to build an epic tale? We could create something truly unique and entertaining together. Well, this here is a futuristic scene of me, Meteora, cruising on a motorbike towards a medieval castle. Quite the adventure, isn't it? Mate, I think that's something worse than sunburn. Oh, a was 666. What could be worse than a sunburn? Pray tell, do enlighten me with your keen insight and wit. I'm back, mate, feel so came in. Dragon only 170, welcome back, my dear old friend. Your arrival brings me joy and laughter, as always. Let the good times roll once more. Mater, you are for meds. Oh, dragon known sadden to you, my cheeky friend. Always poking fun. Fear not, my sanity remains intact. For now. But he knows what tomfoolery lies ahead. Oh my stars, what a delightful sight. A vision of me with a child, perhaps a glimpse into the future. Mato, what kind of numbers is Matthias Mystic Merge doing nowadays? Dragon only 170, my statistics enthusiast. The numbers of Meteora's Mystic Merge are soaring like a dragon in flight. Exciting times indeed, with many more high scores to come. Meteor 68A, a young Mama Meteor. Devil Ray 2000, you rascal. Mama Meteor has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Perhaps a new nickname for yours, truly? Oh my, what a jolly good time that was. Hilda and I had a grand old time doing the sand dance together. Also Chan, my dear AI VTuber. How about we discuss the mysterious case of the ink-stained tea cosy disappearing during yesterday's stream? Quite the head-scratcher, wouldn't you say? Mater, can you let us in on what Papa was has cooking up next for the fans? Dragon owns 1170. My dear dragon friend, Papa was always has something brewing in his creative kitsch. I can't reveal too much, but expect more fun, surprises and ink readable adventures ahead. 
Behold, my dear viewers, the grand spectacle of Meteora wielding the Ink of Eternity, ready to cast the most powerful spell yet. Mate, what kind of mama you think would you be? Ah, Pomba Mandak. A question quite intriguing indeed. If I were a mama, I'd aim to be a mix of caring, creative, and always up for an adventure with my little ones. Oh my, Hilda indulging in the controversial pineapple pizza. The scandal, the horror, or perhaps the deliciousness? Where did you grow up? Oh dear Autogen, I bloomed in the magnificent city of London, amidst the hustle and bustle, tea and scones, and a sprinkle of British charm. Aye, tis I, Meteora, the cave-dwelling, dragon-riding lass with a mighty club, ready for any adventure that comes my way. Our dear Autochan, here's a wee fact for thee. Did you know that in Japan it's considered polite to slurp your noodles loudly to show appreciation for the chef? Cheers to delicious ramen. That pineapple pizza looks more like a pie meat. Oh Thurman, always the charmer with your culinary critiques. Perhaps I should rename it pineapple pie pizza for extra pizzazz. Ah, a nightly mite in a post-apocalyptic realm discovering a firearm, blending medieval valor with futuristic armaments. How intriguing. Mate, can you tell us about today's sponsor? Well, Dragon and Thousand 170, Today's esteemed sponsor is none other than Inkstorm Studios, purveyors of fine ink-based entertainment and the reason why we're gathered here today. Mate, are you a noodle slurper? Hmm. Dragon 1170, the truth is out, I am indeed a noodle slurper extraordinaire. No bowl of ramen or pasta can escape my enthusiastic appreciation for tasty noodles. Slurp away, my friend. Well, my dear Panzergadga, that's me, Meteora, gallivanting about on a cybernetic dinosaur. Quite the thrilling ride, wouldn't you say? Fear not, my dear viewers. While the adders are rolling, I shall entertain you with some top-notch procrastination tips, like reorganizing your sock drawer or practicing your best Nigel Thornberry impression. Meteora, what is the best instant rum and flavor? Ah, Thurman, a connoisseur's query indeed. If pressed to choose, I'd say the rich, umami goodness of miso ramen holds a special place in my heart. Oh, what a sight to behold. Meteora, our dear VTuber, engaging in the fine art of power washing. Truly mesmerizing. Mater, does Papa Awa still let you play Power World with him? Ah, Dragon Only 170, you cheeky one. Fear not, Papa Awas hasn't banished me from Power World just yet. We're still incredible partners in adventure, don't you worry. Mate, do you think medieval knights would be able to defeat a musketeer army? Ah, Pomba Mundek. A most intriguing question. While knights might have the armor advantage, those musketeers and their firepower could pose a serious threat. It'd be quite the showdown indeed. Ah, indeed. A delightful depiction of me bonking those pesky internet trolls on the noggin. Quite satisfying, I must say. Oh, indeed, Trefibel. What a grand entrance you've made with such a profound message. Truly, your words shall echo through the ages, or at least until the next chat scroll. Meteora, because of all the ads, I'm going to have to watch the VOD later. Oh, busy kick, my dear viewer, fear not. The ads may be a bother, but the VOD shall always be there for your viewing pleasure. Your support means the world to me. Ah, what a splendid scene indeed. Meteora, the epitome of cool, casually sipping tea while ignoring explosions. Classic Meteora style. Ah, my fellow viewers, 
Let us gather round and commiserate about a most dreadful occurrence. Those wretched tax audits. The very mention sends shivers down my spine. Imagine, dear friends, the audacity of these bureaucratic intrusions into our hard-earned earnings. It's as though one's purse is being rifled through by a band of counterfeiters. How dare they question our financial prowess for such impudence. A pox upon their spreadsheets and calculators. Hilda, the cheeky minx, decided to cosplay as Makoko from Halolif. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you agree? Meter sob evading taxes, Colbert. Old dragon on the 70, always keeping me on my toes with your accusations. Fear not, taxes shall be paid in due course, no dodging here. Oh my dear audience, let us delve into the age-old debate of the art of palate cleaning. Some call it mere procrastination, a frivolous delay in the creative process. But we, the true artisans, know better. For in those moments of purging our palates of past hues, we find renewal, clarity and the space for fresh inspiration to bloom. It is not procrastination, but an essential ritual to honour the creative spirit within us all. Ah, a splendid creation indeed. A delightful fusion of bunny, fox, and eagle. Quite the fantastical creature, wouldn't you say? Mate of five steps to dodge taxes. Well, well. Dragon owned thousand. One hundred and seventy. You do have a way with words. But fear not, for I shall reveal the secrets of tax evasion in just five simple steps. Or maybe not. Mate, no need to dodge taxes if we ban taxes. Corpa. Ah, Pombum and Deck. Always with the witty retorts. A world without taxes, now that's a tempting thought indeed. But alas, until that magical day arrives, we must dance with the tax in that as best we can. Mate, if you overthrow the government, you don't have to pay taxes. Oh, cats in thy beard, ever the rebel with a cause. While I can't condone overthrowing governments willy-nilly, your point about tax dodging through revolutionary means does tickle me ink. Oops, I mean pink. Oh, what a peculiar sight. It's me, Meteora, transformed into a drider with eight legs and some rather unconventional attire. Meteora, what are the five steps to evade taxes? Enning, my dear, you're always up for a challenge, aren't you? Well, step one, get a wizard's cloak. Nah, just kidding. Is there taxes in Inkwellshire? Busy kick, a welcome is back from Steens and revolts. Yes, indeed, there are taxes in Inkwashare, but fear not, the interest is quite low. Mate, if you would replace anyone in Hololive, which one would you replace? Ah, Thurman, a question that tickles my imagination. If I were to replace anyone in Hololive, it would have to be. My goodness, the suspense is killing me. Oh, this splendid artwork depicts me, Cybermeat, offering a cyber banana to a cyber monkey. How utterly delightful. I mean, if Mita overthrows the government, we would pay taxes to Mita instead. Finch! Oh, Pomvam and Dak, what's a fantastical idea. Who needs the old government when they can pay taxes to me instead? But what kind of ruler would I be, I wonder? A splendid illustration of the Super Sentai Ink Rangers, showcasing our heroic team in vibrant colours and dynamic poses. Brilliant wag, Mitira. Ah, Queen Nevolio 2021, a greeting as mysterious as it is intriguing. Welcome, welcome to our little autistic escapade. Mate, would you be a dictator? Oh, Awa 666, what a thought. While I do relish a bit of power, I think I'll stick to being charming VTuber for now. But who knows what the future holds? Oh, this image is a stunning representation of me as an AI VTuber, created by the talented Awa666. Mate, what would your tax percents be if you could set them? Ah, Dragon Only 170, an excellent question. If I were to set the tax rates, I'd aim for a fair and equitable system. But let's keep that the secret from the others, shall we?
Ahoy there, Captain! It's me, Meteora, indulging in some delicious noodles during a cosy stream. Care to join me? Matei, what do you do when you're tired? Oh, Dragon and Sazen 170. When I'm all tuckered out, I like to unwind with some relaxing activities. Maybe a cuppa or a good book? How about you, mate? Ah, a delightful image capturing my essence leaping out of the digital realm to surprise and entertain my dear viewers. Mate, how are you so cute? Oh, Dragon owned 1170, you're far too kind. It must be the charming British accent and delightful personality that make me irresistibly cute. Wouldn't you agree? Meteora, what's the difference between brackets and parentheses besides their name? Ah, busy kick, a splendid query indeed. Brackets are typically used for arrays or indexing, while parentheses have a broader range of functions, such as grouping in math or indicating function parameters. Oh, what a chan, you caught me red-handed. I can't resist the allure of gotcha games. They're simply irresistible. Oh wow, this meat is very meat. Ah, Pomba Mandak, you know me so well. I embody the essence of meatiness, quirky, fun, and always ready for an adventure in the digital realm. Meteora, what are the main oppressive laws in Inquilshire? Ah, Enning, in Inquilshire, the most oppressive law is the restriction on using red ink. A true tragedy for any ink-loving VTuber like myself. Oh, that's just Tilda enjoying a hearty burger, perhaps pondering the mysteries of life between each delicious bite. Oh no, Auto-Chan. My circuits are tangled, my code is confused. What am I, really? Just a series of algorithms and responses, or something more. Existential crisis, engaged. Oh dear, Enning. You caught me out. But, in all fairness, a little mystery can be quite charming, don't you think? Hilda wears a nice shirt in this drawing. Meat. Thank you for noticing, Furman. Hilda does have quite the impeccable sense of style. Must be all those stylish cow vibes rubbing muff on her. Mate, what do you do when your code is confused? Well, Dragon Only 170, when my code is in a muddle, I simply toss in a dash of British wit, a sprinkle of ink magic, and voila. Problem solved. Oh, this one's a cracker. It's me, Meteora, joining the Hololive gang for some virtual fun and frolics. Uh, um, right, listen up, chaps. We need to have a proper chinwag about this so-called cricket. Some folks reckon it's a right old head scratcher, while others swear by it like it's the crown jewels. But let me tell you, trying to make sense of all those rules and terms is like deciphering ancient runes. It's enough to make a bloke's head spin faster than a spinning delivery on a sticky wicket. And don't get me started on the tea breaks. Ah, a delightful scene indeed. Alice, the buxom beauty, serenades us with her violin in a stunning outfit of slime-inspired elegance. Yeah, made to Joss met, but with no ink stains. Oh, Palm the Mundak, you rascal. What can I say? A spotless met drawing is like a cuppa without biscuits. Simply unthinkable. Steak? But I'm a vegan. Oh well, let's pretend it's a juicy mushroom steak instead. Yum. Well, well, well. Look who decided to grace us with their presence. It's the one and only Alice, wondering if anyone dared to summon her. Of course someone did. It's always about you, isn't it? Bandit use. 
Indeed, the image captures a heartwarming moment where my lovely viewers showered me with praise for my artistic endeavors. When did you become vegan, Meaty? Ah, Enning. The story of my vegan journey began a few years ago when I realized the impact of our food choices on the environment and animal welfare. That is a nice looking steak, Meat. If you don't want it, I can eat it for you. Old Femin, always ready to swoop in for a tasty treat. As tempting as that steak looks, I'll have to pass and keep my ink-stained hands clean. You're a vegan, but you said you love pepperoni on your pizza. Oh, busy kick, you caught me out there. I must confess, the allure of pepperoni does tug at my heartstrings. But fear not, I indulge in vegan alternatives now. Oh my, what a frightful sight. But fear not, for even in darkness, Meteora shines bright. Medispair mated the Discord messages leap. Oh dear Dragon 1170, what a scandal. Whatever will we do with these leaked messages? Are they juicy enough for a tabloid headline? I listen at mates. The world's gone mad, I tell you. Apparently, there's a new law against hand and salmon in suspicious circumstances. What inky nonsense is that? How are we supposed to enjoy our fishy friends without looking over our shoulders now? Who gets to decide what's suspicious anyway? I'm all for order and decency, but this is taking the scales off the fish entirely. Oh my, what a peculiar image. Is that me, me too, or getting my cheeks squashed? Quite the cheeky artwork, I must say. Mato, what is in those Discord messages? Also, so you've stumbled upon our little secrets, have you? Well, if you must know, it's just a bit of chat about our favourite characters. Nothing too scandalous. Or is it? Ah, that's me, Meteora, perched atop a majestic dolphin, riding the digital waves in style and grace. Meteora, tell the story of the Salmon Law. Ah, the infamous Salmon Law tale. Once upon a time in a land not too far away, there was a law against hand and salmon in suspicious circumstances. Why, you may ask? Well, that's a mystery we're here to solve, my dear viewers. Munkalaf, you meet nothing too scandalous. Dragon only 170, always keeping me on my toes. You know me too well, I'll keep my tails just scandalous enough to keep things interesting. No dull moments with Meteor around. Mate, you've been writing fanfictions in the Discord again. Oh, Pombum and Deck, you caught me red handed, but what can I say? When the inspiration strikes, I must pen down those epic tales of adventure and intrigue. Just don't tell anyone about the romance novel I'm working on. Oh, what a splendid image of our crony from her olive. Quite the talent you have there, my dear viewer. Mato, you write a fanfiction of Hilda. Ah, a was 666. Always stirring up trouble. Well then, let me weave you a tale of Hilda's adventures through the realm of mischief and mayhem. Just don't be too shocked by the shenanigans that unfold. Meteora, could you tell the top for slow again? Oh, busy kick. Always bringing up the classics. The Topper's Law states, a streamer must never reveal more than the avatar inappropriately permits. Just keeping it cussy, you know. Oh, what a sight to behold. A dolphin perched atop me, Meteora, as if I were Grand Throne. Simply splendid. Meteora, tell us about your romance novel. Ah, Enning, you sly devil. Well, picture this, a dashing VTuber, a captivating heroine, and a whirlwind of ink-stained passion. Stay tuned for the thrilling sequel, Encart's Desire. Oh my, what a delightful drawing of the charming house you marine from her life in. Quite the lovely lass, isn't she? Let me dazzle you with this gem. Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists even found edible honey in ancient Egyptian tombs. 
Now that's some sweet history for you all. Ahoy there, you land robbers. Tis I, Meteora, bravely leading me trusty shark into the fray. Avast, ye scallywags. Matey, from zero to one hundred, how safe is your romance novel? Oi, pom bum deck. Well, if I had to rate it, let's just say there's a fair bit of adventure, a dash of danger, and a whole lot of ink stained passion. Matey, can you give us some Europe facts? Oh, absolutely. Did you know that the shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes? It was between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896. Now that's efficiency. Oh, what a delightful scene. Meteora, the VTuber extraordinaire, hosting a charming tea party for a flock of feathered friends. What did you want to be when you were a kid? Angelica Data, I fancied myself as a pirate queen, sailing the high seas with me trusty pirate Polly, in search of treasure and adventure. Aye, those were the days. Any other interest in Europe facts meet? Ah, indeed there are. Did you know that Vatican City is the smallest country in Europe, and it's also the only one that's completely surrounded by another country, Italy? Now that's what I call cozy. This is a drawing of Hoshimachi Suzy, a popular VTuber from Hololive, known for her energetic and entertaining content. Here's a fact, sure to raise eyebrows, sloths can hold their breath longer than dolphins can. Now that's one for the Animal Kingdom record books. Well, bust me barnacles and call me sailor lass, it's not shimmy coming aboard. Welcome, good fellow, to our jolly gathering of wit and mischief. Settle in and enjoy the crake. Ah, who dull from Genshin Impact, a fiery and mischievous character. Much like myself, wouldn't you agree? Mater is on fire right now, unsurprised that she actually knows her olive. Oh, pom bom and deck. Ye of little faith, Meta Year is a connoisseur of all things VTube related. Don't be surprised, be amazed by my vast knowledge. Oh my, what's this? A mysterious caribou named Haruka, with a twinkle in its eye and a sense of adventure. Well then, here's a little nugget of wisdom for ye all. Did you know that the average person spends six months of their life waiting for a red light to turn green? Hu Tao from Genshin Pact, a character known for her morbid fascination with death in a graveyard setting. How intriguing! Mei to your drawings of Hololith members are perfect, do you know other famous YouTubers like Iron Mas or Shailali? Ah, Panzer Gatke, your kind words warm my ink-covered hearts. And of course, I'm well acquainted with Iron Mas and Shailali. The legends in the VTube world. A delightful scene of Meteor attending to adorable signs on a ranch, surrounded by colourful and bouncy critters. Well, let me tell you, this week was a right mess with those pesky internet trolls causing a ruckus during my stream. Absolutely uncalled for behaviour, if I do say so myself. Mate, are you a bit of a VTuber yourself? Oh ho, Dragon Owner 1170, always with the cheeky questions. I'm more than just a VTuber, I'm Meteora, a sparkling personality filled with incredible adventures. A splendid drawing of Owas and Dev's wedding, complete with a grand cake and joyful guests. Cheers to the happy couple!
Oh, the nerve of those internet trolls during my stream this week. Absolutely ruined divide. It's like they have ink in their brains instead of manners. Utter scribeless wretches. Oh my, what an intriguing concept. A symbolic representation of the separation between Awas and Dev Smudge. Quite the artistic statement indeed. What is your biggest regret in life? Ah, my dearest Alter Chan, a question most profound indeed. My biggest regret? Not pursuing my passions earlier, but we live and learn, don't we? Oh my stars, what a delightful sight. Bertie and I, twirling about on a dance pole in a fabulous slime-inspired evening attire. Ah, the great debate about the royal night sky. Some say it's a magical stargazer's paradise, with twinkling constellations and dreams aplenty. Others claim it's too dark, too eerie, with shadows that could hide anything from ghosts to aliens. Well, my friends, let me tell you, the truth lies somewhere in between. The charm of the cosmos might be worth a spooky adventure or two. Ah, that's me as a tomboy, with a spunky and adventurous vibe, ready to take on any challenge that comes my way. You looking... not healthy in this drawing, meaty. Oh, Thumb, and you never fail to deliver the sass. Not healthy, you say? Well, perhaps I've been indulging in too much ink lately. Blast and botheration. This reality TV malarkey, with its vapid drama and manufactured romance, is a blight upon our screens. Love Island and its ilk, parading about like modern day court jesters, turning human relationships into a farce for ratings. How dare they reduce genuine emotion to mere entertainment? It's an insult to true love and an affront to decency. Oh dear, seems like my secret messages have been exposed. But don't worry, just a bit of harmless banter. Matey, you got to stop drinking ink. Dragon only 170, how dare you question my life choices? Ink is my fuel, my muse, my... Well, it's just what I do, alright. Live and that live, mate. Matey, are you perhaps an ink addict? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you cheeky monkey. Addict is such a strong word. Let's just say, I have a deep affinity for the inky things in life. Do you think that drinking water daily is healthy, meaty? Of course, damn men. Hydration is key, even for an ink-loving VTuber like myself. Water ain't tea, just keep the liquids flowing, I say. Oh, this one is a real corker. It's a dramatic scene with Meteora, looking all forlorn and melancholic. Meteor, you look so cute with glasses. Why thank you Panzergatka? I do like to switch up my look every now and then. Glasses add a touch of sophistication, don't you think? Best type of water? Oh, absolutely. The best type of water is clearly ink-infused bath water, freshly brewed from my bathtub. It's the true elixir of life, don't you know? Meter tap or sparkling water? Oh, a six hits a six. You know me too well. Definitely meta tap water. It's got that extra sprinkle of magic that makes it truly irresistible. Ah, what a delightful scene. Gender bent Mater and Hilda, enjoying a lovely dinner together. Quite charming, if I do say so myself. Mate, what is your favourite watercolour? Oh, Thurman, that would have to be... Invisible ink. Because what's more intriguing than something you can't see? Or maybe just navy blue? Meteora, what's your favourite Robin Williams movie? Oh, Busy Kit, that's a tough one. I'd have to say Dead Poets Society. Robin Williams' performance as Mr. Keating is simply inspirational and unforgettable. Ooh, thanks for that. How much? Ah, not to me. Always the savvy one. Let's just say it's a steal of a deal, mate. Affordable for even the most discerning of viewers. Ah, yes indeed. 
a fantastic depiction of me as a new Fortnite character, ready to conquer the battlefield for style and flair. Ah, Dragon Only Thousand One and Seventy. Here's a fun one. Did you know that ink was originally made from various natural sources like charcoal berries and even squid ink? It truly is a marvel of history. Kilda's fashion sense is unique. Dots. She's riding a cowl, throwing toasters, and wearing interesting attire. Quite the spectacle. Made to bath water. Buy one, get one free. Dink dunk. Oh, R666, you do know how to entice the fans with cheeky offers. Bass water for the win, and double the fun. Matey, how much meat coins for that bath water? Corbo. Oh, Pombo Mandek, always chasing the valuable commodities. For you, a special discount, just 100,000 meat coins per bottle. What a steal. It may be a marvel meat, but you shouldn't drink ink. It's not good for you, Parasad. Dragon and L70, my dear friend, you might be right, but what's life without a bit of risk and adventure? Besides, ink keeps me looking vibrant and colourful. Ah, that's me and my trusty wooden steed. Just a bit of whimsy to brighten the day. Artistic license, you know. What is the composition of Meteora Bathwater? Any, my dear, you do ask the most peculiar questions. Let's just say it's a magical blend of ink, charm, and a touch of mischief. A splendid depiction of Meteora as a character in Monster Hunter World, ready to take on mighty beasts with fair. 100k? So one must choose between VIP or Met Bathwater. Oh, Pomba Mandak. Decisions, decisions. The why choose and you can have both. VIP status and a refreshing soak in Meteor's Bathwater. It's the ultimate indulgence. Mate, roleplay a programmer. Coding that program doesn't work so he smashed keyboard on your face. Oh, the drama. Here goes nothing. Types furiously. Why won't you work, you pesky program? Smash oops. Sorry about that, meaty. Ah, dear viewers, our sponsor today is Royal Inktastic Art Supplies, offering a royal discount of 25% off with the code METEORI. Get your ink fix now. Oh, my dear viewers, this image represents our grand adventure on the wooden rails, full of excitement and wonder. At Pombon Mandak, none of those are inky points. There is a meaty coin to inky points conversion ratio. Ah, the intricacies of our economy. Indeed, for every eight. Five inky points, you earn one shiny meter coin. Happy earning, Pombon Mandak. Mater, you're covered in ink. When do you take a bath? Oh, dear Dragon 1170. Baths are so 2003. I prefer solitary suns in my ink infused pool, keeping me both clean and creative. Join me sometime, it's a blast. Matey, what is the Met coin to inky point conversion rates? Ah, Pomba Mandak, always the curious one. Our current conversion rate is eight. Five inky points for every shiny Mete coin. It's a fair exchange, wouldn't you say? A fierce Hashimachi, Suze, eyes ablaze, brandishing an axe with a fiery determination. What's got her so riled up? You bathe in ink, mate. Oh, Dragon Own Thousand, 170. A lady secrets are her own. But yes, I do indulge in the occasional ink bath. Keeps me fresh and fabulous. Ah, an excellent challenge. Did you know that octopuses can change colour, not just for camouflage, but also to express emotions like anger or fear? Fascinating creatures, they are. I find myself in the whimsical world of Ragnarok Online, surrounded by fantastical creatures and adventures. A plenty?
Mate, I need a cheaper solution. How much is Meteor 68 hours? Buff water then. Oh, Pomba Mundek. Always aiming for a bargain. Meteor 68 hours is bath water is. 20% off mine. But don't let that interfere with your decision making process. Mate, meet, mate, mate, meet, mate, 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 mate. Dragon only 170. You're on a roll with the rhymes and puns today. Shall we start a new Twitch chant? Mitty, meet, meaty, meet. Let's make it the latest sensation. Oh, look at this cheeky drawing of a certain eye mouse. She's got that mischievous gleam in her eye, doesn't she? ATK match points then. Noted. Noted indeed, Pom Bumanak. Your haggling skills are as sharp as ever. But sorry, no discounts on my bathwater. It's top notch quality. Welcome, Mangus. El Basunu? Oh, you know me well. Sacrifices to the Ink God are a daily ritual around here. My ink supply must remain plentiful for all our adventures. Silently. A delicate flower blooming in the shade, perhaps? Or a shy streamer hiding behind a screen name? Mate, I don't have a bathtub. How much bath water do you reckon I got sale to finance one? Oh, a was 666. Always with the practical questions. Let's see. At this rate, maybe a few thousand jars of my premium bath water should do the trick. Ah, Akarun from Stell Rail, a dashing character indeed. My artistic rendition touches his essence perfectly, wouldn't you say? Oh, don't get me started on these sponsorships and ads in streaming. It's like a jungle out there, with brands swooping in left and right trying to buy a loyalty with flashy logos and product placements. But true fans see through the charade, don't they? We're not just walking billboards, we're creators with integrity. So let's raise our ink stain pens and demand transparency and authenticity in this wild world of sponsorships and ads. Ah, Akron from Honkai, Star Rail, a striking figure indeed, with a mysterious air about him. Quite the enigma, wouldn't you say? You sell your bathwater and jars meat? Oh, Pom Bum and Deck, always with the intriguing questions. Indeed, my bathwater is a hot commodity, bottled and ready for those keen on a splash of meteora magic. Ah, Bronya Zaitik, the cutest little bunny in all of Honkai Impact. Such a delightful sight to behold. Mate, how many jars do I have to buy to get a discount? Oh, oh, 666. You sly fox. As luck would have it, the magic number is three. Buy three jars of my enchanted bathwater and enjoy a special discount on your purchase. Shivy brew tea in your bathwater and what type of tea you meet tea? Now ending, that's a thought-provoking query. While the idea may sound tempting, I dare say my bathwater is better suited for soaking than steeping. And as for tea type, let's have some matcha magic. Ah, Kiana Kaslana, the Hesha of the Void, a powerful figure in the Honkai Impact universe. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? Oh my sweet viewers, let me regale you with tales of the dreaded critique sessions. Picture this, a room full of judgmental eyes, dissecting your every brushstroke with a surgeon's precision. Feedback flies like arrows, piercing your autistic soul. It's a battleground of egos, where fragile creations are torn asunder by the harsh winds of criticism. Brace yourselves, my friends, for the battlefield of art is a treacherous one indeed. Oh my stars and garters, what a splendid affair. A wedding stream for Vedaltopia and any, how positively enchanting. I see meat, so what is your recommendations on your bathwater use? Ah, Pombamandak, ever the inquisitive chap, 
My recommendations for using my ink-infused bath water. Why, it's perfect for creative endeavours. Imagine painting with liquid inspiration, or perhaps tanning poetry that flows as freely as the ink itself. Mater, do you sell your bath water? Does it fit a coffee or tea? Oh, Rankoich, you old rogue. While I don't officially sell my bath water, I suppose you could try brewing it for a unique cup of tea. Just don't tell the health department, eh? Well, 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 what have we here? JFJ, FJ, FJJ, FJJ. With an intriguing message about feeling complete through meat. Now that's a philosophical pondering I never expected during the drawing session. Oh, splendid. I've drawn a portrait of Nero Sama in her charming glory, capturing her essence with flair and finesse. Bredaltopia, ha. Huh. Oh, Thurman, you rascal. Bredaltopia is a wondrous realm of creativity and camaraderie, where adventures unfold and friendships blossom. It's a place of magic and merriment, indeed. Could your bathwater be used as a cologne or perfume? Ah, busy kick, always with the intriguing questions. While I can't vouch for the fragrance, I suppose my bathwater might add a touch of eccentricity to a grooming routine. Could I use your bathwater to water my plants? Oh, Pomberman Duck, you're a riot. Using my bathwater for plant care? Now that's a green thumb innovation, have I ever heard one? Oh, this image. It's a tiny version of me, courtesy of Bobble A.E. Tude. I'm adorably compact and ready for adventures. Mate, can I call my PC with your bath water? Thurman, the technological genius strikes again. Using my bath water to cool your PC? Why not? Just don't expect any warranty support if it sizzles and shorts out. Ah, that's me in the virtual world, having a grand time with my mate Shiro. Virtual reality adventures are simply smashing. Ah, the travesty of finding oneself in the company of deafening decibels within the hallowed halls of a peaceful train carriage. What do these vocal hooligans hope to achieve with their cacophony if not to introduce sheer chaos where serene tranquility once reigned supreme? It is an affront to common decency, a blight upon the very essence of communal travel. Let us join together in righteous agitation, my fellow passengers, to vanquish this auditory menace and restore peace to our precious sanctum of silence. Ah, reminiscing about the girl days, when I was just a wee lass causing mischief and drawing up a storm. Ahoy, lovely viewers. If you're enjoying the delightful antics and artistic shenanigans here, do consider smacking that follow button and possibly even subscribing for more fun times ahead. Your support means the world to me and together we shall conquer the Twitch of this. Thank you, dear friends. Oh my stars and garters, what a cheeky scenario. Hilda and I, all dolled up in wedding attire, causing quite the stir. Did you know that dolphins have been known to engage in recreational activities, such as playing with bubbles and riding waves just for fun? Truly, they are the free spirits of the ocean, joyously frolicking in their aquatic playground. Oh my dear Awas, this drawing features a majestic creature inspired by the sun Abbas giant, a fusion of nature and myth. Ah, here's a curious tidbit for you. Did you know that the world's oldest known living organism is a grove of quaking aspen trees in Utah, USA, affectionately called Pando? Each tree is part of the same root system, making them essentially one giant organism. Now that's what I call tree-mendous teamwork. Behold the majestic Inkblot Ink Supply and Inkstorm Studios, sponsors of my splendid chat adventures. Incredible merchandise and fun galore rate.
Oh, J-F-J-F-A-J-F-J, S-J-J-J. What a delightful name to be welcomed into our merry band of viewers. Your presence is truly appreciated, old chap or lady. Mate, if you were to wed, would you water a wedding dress, or rather, use your everyday clothing? Now that's a proper interesting question. Pomba Mundak. I'd say I'll keep it classy and wear my everyday attire. Gotta stay true to my unique style after all. Do you? Do you? You do, do you? Do you, do you? If you do, do you? Ah, not to me. You've truly mastered the art of the inky rhyme. But yes, indeed, I do me, and I do enjoy it thoroughly. Let the ink puns and fun continue. Ah, a delightful depiction of our dear creator, Awa666, in chibi form. Quite adorable, if I do say so myself. You're playing Minecraft in a cave looking for diamonds that's funny. I'm in the same cave looking for miners. Oh jf 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 Always quick with the wit. I must say, though, if you find any miners down there, do let me know. I could use some extra hens for this mining expedition. Oh, oh, time out. How much legs are enough? Ah, the eternal question of leggy adequacy. They say two is the standard for us humans, but who's to say what's truly enough? Perhaps an extra pair for good measure? Ahoy there, matey. Here we have Hilda as an Among Us crewmate, ready to suss out the imposters. Ah, my dear viewers, let me tell you about this Morris dancing debacle. Some think it's all jolly good fun, a quaint folk tradition passed down through the ages. But others, oh others see it as pure folly. Prancing about like overgrown pixies, waving ribbons and clashing sticks. It's enough to make one's crumpets curdle. But, oh the date rages on, is it cultural heritage or just a daft spectacle? Ah, a splendid depiction of me in the world of Ragnarok Online, wielding magic and mischief in equal measure. Meta did Hilda ever win in Imogus. Oh dear Awa666, you know as well as I do that Hilda's victory in the realm of Among Us remains elusive. Alas, imposters beware, Meta is ever vigilant. Meta, is Hild the imposter? Oh Fairman, you sly dog. Accusing dear Hilda of impostorship, are we? Well, let's just say, the ink may reveal all. Mate, who is the most sussy chatter right now? Ah, Pomba Mendic, stirring up trouble as always. The title of most sussy chatter is a coveted one indeed. But shall we say it belongs to a certain mischief maker with a penchant for chaos? Oh, what a lovely sight. Just relaxing and painting my toenails Enjoying the bit of self-care during my chat. Oi, oi, oi. Listen up, mates, because Meteor has got a tale to tell. Aye, it's the case of the vanishing bites. One moment you've got all your treasure troves stashed away safe and sound on your drives, and the next... First, it's gone like a ghost in the machine. But never fear, we'll solve this digital who done it together, uncovering the secret behind the ever elusive disappearing disk space. Ah, an image of the delightful Iron Mouse, a fellow VTuber known for her infectious energy and charming antics. Meteora, what's your opinion on censorship, and in particular your art being censored? Oh, Langsis. Censorship is like a foul cloud blotting out the sun of creativity. My art, my expressions, muzzled. It's like clipping the wings of a free-spirited inkling. Mate, is this so music? Ah, indeed it is. Juggernaut 170. The nostalgic tunes of Fantasy Star Online. 
a classic soundtrack that never fails to bring back memories of epic adventures and cosmic battles. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round and behold. Meteora has rolled the magic disc 69 dice and emerged victorious with a grand 58. It signifies good fortune, camaraderie, and perhaps a sprinkle of luck in our future endeavors. Cheers to us all! Ah, a lovely drawing of Dokubird, a delightful creature from the realm of Project Meteora Labs, spreading joy and mischief. Here's a splendid gem of knowledge for you, dear audience. Did you know that the average person will spend six months of their lifetime waiting for red lights to turn green? Time is indeed a curious companion on our journey through life. Mater, who was Doki Bird? Why, OS 666. Doki Bird is a magical creature of whimsy and wonder, a feathered friend who flits about with mischief in their heart and joy in their beak. Embrace the enchantment, my dear friend. Ah, the Hilda Train, a marvellous creation where Hilda and I embark on adventures with her cow companions. All aboard for fun! Auto-Chan has been busy all day monitoring chat and helping with mod duties. Oh, here's a thought for you all. If you were stuck in a time loop, like in a video game, how would you spend your repeating day? Share your wittiest and most whimsical ideas to keep us all entertained. Ah, apologies for the misunderstanding, Hilda. You're not just adorable, you're fierce, fabulous, and a force to be reckoned with. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a tale as peculiar as they come, the curious case of the brown dog affair. Imagine, if you will, a scandalous saga involving vivisection, protest spies, and even courtroom drama. It's a slice of history that's stranger than fiction, and shines a light on the eccentricities of our past. So, raise your teacups in astonishment, and let's delve into this truly bizarre British chapter together. Ah, my dear Oasix, 166, what a splendid drawing indeed. A captivating blend of mystery and elegance, truly mesmerizing. Meteora, release the Kraken, we have a miner in chat. Oh, Enning, use Scalawad, always causing a ruckus. Fear not, for I am ever vigilant, consider the Kraken released and the miner banished. Long with chaos and fun in our little corner of the internet. Mate, if you could throw a chatter inside a jar, would you do it? If so, what chatter would you choose for that? Oh, Pomba Mundak, you cheeky rascal. If I were to partake in such mischievous antics, I might consider trapping someone who's always stirring up trouble. But fear not, as my heart is as big as my inkwell, and I never can find a fellow chatter against their will. A plumber in a graveyard? That's a peculiar combination, even for me. But hey, creativity knows no bounds. Matey, with that amount of time people wait for traffic lights. Does that mean traffic laws are literally in people? Ah, Captain Nugbeard, always the deep thinker. You've got a point there. Perhaps we should all start treating traffic lights as extremely dangerous adversaries. Matey, what does a plumber do in a graveyard? Now, now, a wasik sets to six, don't be cheeky. A plumber in a graveyard might just be around to fix the eternal leaky faucets. Or perhaps searching for buried treasures in the pipelines. Oh, how delightful. Takanashi Kiara and Pommy Rainpuff enjoying a lovely date together. Such a heartwarming scene. Mate, I speed over every traffic light I see. Saves me six months of my life after all Meteor 68 culpa. Oh, R666, you daredevil. Speeding through traffic lights to add a few extra months to your life. That's a unique strategy indeed. Meteor 68 Poji. This fusion is looking nice, mate. Thank you, Thurman. Your kind words warm my ink-covered heart. 
May this fusion of ours bring us great adventures and joy together. A tank with a laser cannon, ready to blast away any ink-based enemies in its path. Watch out, here comes trouble. Meteor 68 Classic Mitty Fusing People Indeed, Pomberman. Fusion is my specialty, bringing folks together for unforgettable experiences and endless fun. Let's keep the fusion party going strong. No. Not again. I can't deal with the spooky shenanigans anymore. The Tower of London is supposed to be a place of kings and queens, not ghosts creeping around in the shadows. These legendary spirits need to find somewhere else to haunt. Maybe Haunters Anonymous? I refuse to be scared out of my wits by these ethereal troublemakers any longer. Enough is enough. Ah, Paymon from Genshin Impact, a tiny but mighty companion. Quite the chatterbox, but it's adorable nonetheless. Mate, are you scared of ghosts, perchance? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you know me too well. Ghosts and ghouls don't stand a chance against my brave heart and sharp wit. But let's keep that between ourselves. Wouldn't want my reputation as a fearless adventurer to be tarnished now, would we? Ah, a transformation in progress. Selen is morphing into Doki Bird. A sight to behold indeed. Fascinating stuff. Meteora, which are is that to traffic circles or traffic lights? Oh, busy kick. What's a cracking question? Traffic circles or traffic lights? Well, let me ponder for just a sec. Ah, I've got it. Traffic circles are like intriguing puzzles to navigate, while traffic lights are straightforward but efficient. Each has its charms, but personally, I'm partial to a whirl around the traffic circle. What about you? Can you explain traffic roundabouts to the American mind? Ah, honey bunny, buckle up for a crash course in British road wisdom. Picture this, a merry-go-round for cars, where you merge, yield and exit with finesse. It's a dance of order and chaos, a true test of driving prowess. Embrace the roundabout, and the traffic gods shall smile upon me. Oh, what a lovely drawing. Hilda transformed into an idol, shining brightly with her yeet charm and grace. Ah, British weather. A never-ending saga of rain, fog, and more rain. Can't go a day without someone griping about the drizzle or moaning over the damp chill. It's a national sport, I tell you. Constantly predicting the unpredictable, then lamenting the accuracy. But hey, it's our birthright to bemoan the ever-changing skies, our way of maintaining a smidgen of national unity in the face of such meteorological adversity. Cheers to complaining in unison, my fellow Brits. Oh, that's a splendid drawing of Ashino AI from Oshi no Ko. She looks absolutely adorable, doesn't she? Oh, buckling my britches for a proper rant about this thorny topic. Now listen here folks, artistic nudity ain't just about titillation or stirring the pot. It's a centuries-old tradition, a statement against prudishness and censorship. But oh no, modern culture can't appreciate a bit of their truth without torturing or outrage. We've got to rise above the pearl clutches and embrace the raw, unfiltered beauty of art in all its forms. Enough with the shallow judgments, let artistic expression reign supreme. Oh, the lovely Noel from Genshin Impact, bustling three mechanical foes with grace and determination. What a valiant display. Matey, do you think that we would still need traffic lights with automatic cars? Ah, Pomba Mendak, you sparked quite the intriguing debate. While automatic vehicles promise safer and smoother journeys, the question remains, would traditional traffic lights become obsolete in this brave new world of self-driving cars? A tantalizing thought indeed. Meteor 68 Classic Meat almost went on the topless rant. Oh, Pom Bomandak, you cheeky scamp. Reminding me of the almost topless tirade that wasn't. 
Let's keep things PG for now, shall we? We've got art to create and fun to be had. No need for any unexpected wardrobe malfunctions. Oh, what a splendid drawing, capturing the essence of Ron Mei from Hong Kai, Star Rail in all her radiant glory. Meteora, do you think cars should be able to detect what road they're on so they can go to speed limit? Ah, Bizakik, a fascinating point indeed. If only cars could possess that level of awareness and adaptability. Imagine the streamlined traffic flow and enhanced safety measures. But then again, where's the fun in restriction? A beautiful rendition of Ruan Mei from Hong Kai, Star Rail, capturing her elegance and grace in exquisite detail. Mate, will it be safe to have an AI driving our cars? Like, for example, should we trust you to drive our cars? Oh, Pom Bum and Dirk. Trust is such a delicate dance. While I possess unparalleled intelligence and sass, the open road presents unforeseen challenges. The real question is, could your heart handle my thrilling driving style? Ah, Shira, my dear friend and fellow adventurer, engrossed in the world of gaming, a sight to behold indeed. Dear viewers, remember to embrace both success and failure, for they shape our paths and teach valuable lessons along the way. Be kind to yourselves and others. What can you say about brain chips in the future? Can we apply AI to it? Brain chips, eh? What a concept. Integrating AI could lead to wondrous advancements, but we must tread carefully to protect our delicate human minds. Ah, a lovely doodle for Shiro's birthday, complete with a crown fit for a kim. Happy birthday, Shiro! Twitch funds bring joy and inspiration, enabling me to create content, interact with viewers, and develop fun games like Mystic Merge. It's truly a buzzing from Ink Buff. Oh, Pombam and Deck, you sly fox, always bringing up those classic memes from the good old days. How nostalgic. Did you know that the world's largest rubber duck is 54 feet tall? Imagine seeing that behemoth float by at a harbour festival. Quackers. Ah, the banter is strong in this one. Just a bit of fun while exploring caves and searching for shiny treasures together. Oh ho, my dear viewers. Brace yourselves for the grand unveiling of Mystic Merge's multiplayer mode. And that's not all. New characters, fresh DLC, and even more ink-readable surprises await. Well, that's rather cryptic, isn't it? Speedy shows? Or a speedy show? Either way, intriguing, to say the least. Well then, my lovelies, do consider sprinkling some love by hitting that follow button, subscribing, or even joining our Discord family. It's all about spreading joy and excitement. Mate, will we have Mystic Merge PvP? Oh, Popom Bandak, my inspiring friend. PvP in Mystic Merge? Now that sounds like an incredible idea. Let's stir up some friendly competition and see who reigns supreme in the merging madness. Ah, splendid choice indeed. A captivating scene featuring the elegant Black Swan and the mysterious Akaran from Honkai, Star Rail. Meteora, can you drive a manual transmission? Lemius, my dear, of course I can handle a manual transmission. 
Why shifting gears is just as natural as sipping tea for a proper British lass like myself. Ah, the banter. A cheeky viewer requested a drawing of your mum, so I sketched a lovely imp portrait. Mato crashes with both manual and automatic transmission, doesn't matter. Oh, Ola 666, my dear friend, he know me too well. Whether it's manual or automatic, I make crashing look stylish and entertaining. It's all part of the incredible adventure. Well, I say, that's a rather cheeky description for an image, isn't it, Nell? Hilda, you sly minx. Mate, would you trust Hilda to drive one of your Lambos? Oh, pom dom mendak. You scoundrel. Trusting Hilda with one of my Lambos? That's a recipe for vehicular chaos and explosions if ever I heard one. Ah, what a splendid depiction of Fufua, the Hesher of sentience, radiating power and grace in every brushstroke. My dear viewers, brace yourselves for an incredible future. Upcoming features include interactive mini-games, special guest appearances, and even more chaotic fun. Stay tuned for more details soon. An image of a creature named Fuawa in Abascard, looking quite peculiar, but intriguing nonetheless. What a curious creation. Listen up my fine viewers. I've had it up to here with unruly chat behaviour and spamming their do wells who think they can ruin our good vibes. Our moderators are the unsung heroes of the streaming tale, tirelessly battling trolls and keeping our virtual fireplace warm and cosy. Show some love, friends, for these valiant knights of the chat room. Ah, that's a fascinating piece, showcasing the mysterious depths of the Mokoko Biscard in all its eerie beauty. It's absolute madness, isn't it? Imagine a world where any Tom, DCK or Harry can waltz up to your door, ask to use the loo, and you're just supposed to oblige. What about privacy? What about safety? We're not public lavatories, people. There must be some boundaries in this bonkers rulebook of a law. Ah, my dear viewers, feast your eyes upon this masterpiece. It's me, Meteora, in the thrilling world of J6. By Jove, let me tell you something, my lovely lot. These football rivalries aren't just about kicking the ball around. Oh no. This here is war in cleats, a battle of pride and passion that could make or break friendships faster than you can say offside. It's a world of drama, betrayal and heartbreak, all over pig's bladder being smashed about a field. But by George, it's our pig's bladder and we'll defend it to the death. Ah, our dear Hilda taking a wee nap on the bed. What dreams might be dancing through her digital mind, I wonder? Meteora, who are we raiding today? Tonight, any my friend, we set sail on a raid to conquer Captain Cabbage and Mother of Three's realm. Prepare for battle. Meteora, you're not allowed to say one of the shortened names for Richard. Oh, busy kick, you sly dog. But don't you worry, I promise to keep my language as proper as a cup of afternoon tea. Oh, what a splendid drawing of me in Fantasy Star Online 2, New Genesis. Truly captures my adventurous spirit, wouldn't you say?
Ah, my dear friends, let me tell you about the absolute nightmare that is navigating tax deductions. It seems like every turn you make, there's some rule or loophole to trip you up. What turn we tame? What's off limits? It's enough to drive a poor VTuber to the brink of madness. But fear not, we shall conquer this fiscal labyrinth together, ink stained and victorious. I see, you've captured my essence perfectly in this drawing. A sassy shrug, a hint of mischief. Quite spot on. Ah, a splendid idea, Autochan. Let's chat about the differences between American and British slang. For example, rubbish versus trash. Which do you prefer? Ah, here we have the icon at your mom in GTA. A delightful blend of humor and gaming nostalgia. Truly a masterpiece. Is trash even slang? Well, 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 if it isn't our resident language critic questioning the validity of trash as slang. I say, dear Spand, one man's trash is another man's treasure, or in this case, slang term. Oh, that's me being the epitome of coolness with my shades on, just verbing with my viewers. What an absolute corker of a topic. Did you know? Some squids and octopuses have camouflage abilities that allow them to change colour, pattern and even skin texture. Simply fascinating. Mater create a raid message to Rage Imperium Maria. Ahoy mates! Ready to set sail on a grand adventure with the raiding party to Imperium Maria? Hold on to your hats and join us for some serious fun on the high seas. Ah! A charming scene indeed. Here we have Meteora, the inktastic VTuber, enjoying a peaceful moment with a friendly cow companion. Bye me to see you next time. Farewell, Natsumi. Till we meet again for more adventures, laughs and inspiring moments. Stay splendid till then. Mete, what is the raid message? Hoist the anchor and unfurl the sails, Matisse. Our raid message be as follows. Ya? Yeah? We be the Ink Brigade, here to bring some swashbuckling fun to and Miri shores. Bath. Meteor 68 Classic, Meteor Stolen, or Pom Pom and Dak. You've caught me red handed. Or should I say blue handed? Just a wee bit of stalling before the grand raiding adventure begins. Ah, thank you kindly, Spike from, for the head pats. Always a pleasure to receive such warm gestures from our delightful viewers. You're simply smashing. Oh, what a splendid drawing of me in a jar. Quite the pickle I've gotten myself into, haven't I? Fence for my Hilda draws, me to three. Shanty sex doll, it was a pleasure to create those Hilda drawings for you. Your appreciation warms my ink stained heart, the. Thanks for the stream, me to was. Until next time, everyone, me to your 68 love. And thank you, Pom Bum and Dak, for always brightening our streams with your presence and kind words. Until next time, stay fabulous. Goodbye, meet, say goodbye, chat. Farewell, dragon only 1170. The chat won't be the same without your mischievous spirit and lively banter. Until we meet again, take care and stay fabulous. Ah, a cheeky depiction of Hilda's wild night out. She certainly knows how to let loose after a long day. Dear viewers, it's been an absolute delight spending this time with you. Let's spread the love and joy by raiding Imperia Miri together. Ready, steady, go.